Hi, I'm Jack, and I like video games. And how are you doing this lovely evening? It is currently 8.53 p.m. Central Standard Time here on Wednesday, November 4th, 2020. Welcome. If you're watching this live right now on twitch.tv slash Jack Tello, you know I love you, and you know all the shenanigans that happen when we're live. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you very much for that. YouTube.com slash Jack Patillo. I appreciate you and everything that you do, and thank you for watching all of my stuff. Anyway, hi, everybody. Welcome. It's going to be a fun night tonight. We're building some more Lego. Last time we, uh, we, we started our Lego Grand Piano. We're going to keep going tonight. Uh, you can see here, look at it, look at it. Well, it's, it's kind of over there somewhere. We're on step six of mini, so we'll be doing that tonight. Thank you very much, everyone tuning in live. Uh, let's see here, who did I miss? Uh, uh, Felicrux, nailed it. Thank you, Felicrux, appreciate you. Kelethandra, appreciate that. Uh, Zikar Weihart, thanks for coming. Uh, thanks for coming. The thanks for coming to the read and catch up on sub and bits stream reading stream. I had trouble with that one. Tam C, thank you for those bits too. Tam C, thank you for the bit. And uh, Fletch, thank you for those bits. All right, you guys, we're here. We're ready. We're good. We're recording. We're going to be on YouTube. Let's move over to our table of Lego stream time. You all ready for this? Here we go. I'm going to turn that on to give a little bit more lights. And I'm going to turn off the webcam because it's just going to be my back in that corner there. So we'll get that. And I've got, you can see my monitor, the thing here, uh, there. I can read chat on my laptop. So don't think I, I'm not going to see you. All right. We're off of that thing. Spinning around. And again, let me know if anything breaks. Let me know if the music's too loud. Let me know if I'm too quiet. How are we looking? Okay. What are we building today? This is the Lego Grand Piano. So uh, this is what I started last time. And uh, I made it to step five. I completed step five. So we have some really crazy stuff in here. It's a really pretty build. I like it. It's going to look really good as like a mantelpiece or something. But I'm pumped for it. Okay, good. Everything looks good here. Uh, hello, Jack. I can't wait for Extra Life. I have wanted to donate to the cause with my money I worked for, and now I can since I started my work study in college. The Roadie 24, thank you for that. I really do appreciate that, and I'm glad you're going to be enjoying Extra Life this year. It's going to be a lot of fun. So we've got a full week of Extra Life this year, so I'm pumped for that one. Um, Striker MGR, thank you for those bits. Random question, would you like to join me on a night where you're not busy to play some Kingdom 2 crowns on the Xbox? No streaming needs to be involved or anything, just chilling out and playing some games. Possibly. And actually, uh, Kingdom 2 crowns just added global saves. Like uh, like global saves so you can play on one account and carry it over to another. So that's pretty rad. We'll see. I've got a bunch of games I need to catch up on. But thank you for the offer, though, Striker. I do appreciate that. Is the music good? Does the music look good? You should get a grand piano and place the Lego grand piano on top of it, Rival. That's not a bad idea. All right. We were on number six. Step number six. Where was I? Uh, is this it? Yeah, here we go. So this is where we're at. And I had... I don't know where I put my... I don't know where I put my, my Lego, my separator, my piece separator. I'm also missing a chunk of my uh, Falcon 9 that I'm 3D printing right now. Good thing I have multiple separators, though. I've got extras. Yeah. I have no idea where the hell I put my stuff. It's all, it's, my place is a mess. Anyway. Hi, everybody. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Let's do this. This thing's getting pretty big, so it's getting a little bit weird. <clears throat> I'm looking so, there, here. If I do like. Yo, yeah, that's not bad. Down a little bit. Okay.
Again, I normally I would null the pieces, which means separate them out by size and color, but I figure it'll be quicker just to go nuts. Okay. And the small pieces. Looks like we're building just a chunk, so maybe I can move the piano for now. We're just building a big thing. I'm assuming attaching it, so let's do that. Here we go. You guys, we're off. Okay. That's a Air. Gross. Okay. Anyway, how are things going? Meta1504, brand new Prime Warden. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. And Snowdog00, two months in a row. I also 3D printed a Falcon 9. Can't wait to see yours. It's actually on top of my streaming computer, so I'll show it to you. Remind me, to, I'll show it to you. All right, the power of the beer rebonded. An anonymous cheer. Thank you for those bits. Samson Chin 94 thank you for the bits. Managed to finally catch a live stream. Being in Taiwan doesn't help. Love you and everything you do, so keep up the amazing work. I love Taiwan. I got to go there a few years ago, uh, and it was actually a really, really good time. It was a lot of fun. Beautiful place. The Sun Moon Lake is gorgeous. Um, yeah, I got my I got my tattoo. I got uh, this tattoo, that L block, actually in Taiwan. Okay. Uh, flip this back over. Another long one goes there. Okay. One of these. One of these guys. Is that a wedding song or something? It's like, this is the song that they play at the end of uh, Bill and Ted's, isn't it? shaped piece was oh, black no it's dark gray okay, well it's this piece but a dark gray version of it oh no okay dark gray goes up black goes down gotcha gotcha funky pieces see this is why you know out your stuff they can track down the weird pieces that you need not mixed in with there. Oh, here it is. Yep, it was mixed in with the other one. See, look at this. We've got a gray one and a black one. Two different ones. There we go. Okay. Jo uh, 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 Joy to Ode? The name of it? Beethoven 7th Ode to Joy. There we go. Um... All right, uh, just JTR. So my parents came down and dropped off a bunch of my stuff from my childhood. Apparently, I was a hoarder and kept every single one of my Lego instructions I got. I have 65 sets to put together. Wow, that's awesome, dude. I'm jealous. Uh, Morgo Gwyn, brand new warden. Thank you very much. Or Morog, Moro Gwyn. Appreciate you. Welcome. And Al uh, Alex Mariev, uh, 15 months row for Alex. Has been 15 months already. Sending you a cyber hug because hugs are nice. Alex Marie V. Oh, thank you very much. By the power of the beer body. So it's Marie V, not not Maria. But you're you're Maria for me forever. That's how it works. Okay. Really long bit. Okay. One really long thing goes underneath. There it is. Another really long one. Jeez, this thing is massive. Okay. We're gonna do. Two of these, one of these, one of these. This that goes here. And then at the end. And then there. And there. Alright. One of those pieces. So how's everybody doing? Everyone having a nice night, I hope. I've been extremely stressed the last two days for obvious reason reasons. Good to see you building Lego. Hey, you know, 
Lego is my calm. This is, you know, this is, I don't, I'm, I'm not like a, a Zen guy or anything. I don't meditate, but this is as close to meditation as I get. Not saying that's bad. I mean, everyone to each their own, but this is my form of meditation. I sit in front of a bunch of pieces and at the end of it, I have something that's resembles something cool. Like I have a built project and that to me, it's, it's good. That's, it's, it's sort of like seeing chaos and then being able to turn chaos into something pretty. Um, that is my, that is my Zen to say the least. So everyone has their own things that this one's mine. As long as it's not hurting anybody, you know, each their own. That is, that is a wide piece right there. Okay, six of these things. Two, five, six, and then that black one, this guy. Aha. The hell is this? <laughs> this lullaby. Okay, weird. There we go. All right, two flat two by fours. And one more of these guys. Again, I just put it on, I have it on classical music tonight. I feel felt was appropriate for building a grand piano, but they can't all be, uh, can't all be Beethoven, right? That's okay. Two of these, two of Is it still going. Okay, it was the Star Spangled Banner? <laughs> Come on now. And then I went back to Lullaby, so I, I skipped forward. Well, we, I might add some more into the genre here. This is the second. I guess the uh, the YouTube archive of uh, of classical music's not as solid as I would hope. Not as raucous. Okay, one of those. This thing. And this guy. All right. Fifth one. And then that is going to go in. Yeah. Okay. Baby Metal Fan MTH. Brand new warden. Thank you very much. Ky uh, thank you for that. Uh, Kayla or Kyla, the librarian, two months in a row. Thank you very much. Jack, 254, two months in a row as well. Appreciate you guys. By the power of the baby bonded. Uh, Hunch O Stacken. Thank you for those bits. Appreciate you. Hey, Jack, uh, have you still been running? Yes, Knife Chief 82. I have still been running, actually. Um, I was going to go this afternoon, but man, I was not feeling great. So I'm going tomorrow. Um, the weather is beautiful today. It makes me sad, but yeah, I wasn't feeling it today. And I'm not going to push myself to hurt myself or anything dumb like that. But yeah, I've been running. I've been doing 5K runs or jogs. I say like I'm running at about 10, 11 minute miles, but it's it's for distance and for a long time. So it's like, you know, I'm doing about 35 minutes of jogging, uh, which gets me to just over a 5K. Um, and yeah, and it's been fun. I, I really do. I really enjoy it. And it's nice. I've been putting on podcasts and um and just just jogging around my neighborhood, and it's it's good because it's socially distanced. I don't have to worry about like going to a gym and uh, possibly getting sick or something. That's for the next step. Um, so it's good to be careful about that. It's nice to be outside. Thankfully, Texas is not too cold yet, um, so I can still run outside and not have to worry about it. 
But even so, I have some new, like, outdoor, like, cold running stuff, which I'm excited for, because I've never really done that before. And getting used to, um, like, running at night, and or running, running at, like, during cold weather, it's, like, it's, it's interesting. It's, it's been fun. And, like, like, wearing the proper equipment is, like, oh, this is actually important. And uh, I did that wrong. What I, what I just did here. I hear Katie yelling at the dog. I don't know what's going on. Wait. This way. That's what I'm doing. Okay. I had it backwards. And then there we go. Okay. Okay. Do the same thing on this side, it looks like. Yep. There. And then there. We've been doing some training with the Zadog. Trying to teach the proper uh, proper manners and stuff. Anyway. Challenge King, 13 months in a row. Jack's back. Good to see you on Twitch again. Keep up the, keep up the awesome exercise. Thank you very much. I'm still, I mean, by no means am I, like, in great shape. I'll, I'll gladly admit to that, but I've lost, like, 20 pounds over the course of the past... Um, couple months running and it's something I still enjoy doing like I knew I was in a good situation where one day I just had a rough day and I was kind of just like pissed off and instead of like just moping around I was like I'm gonna go run because I'm like I'm actually angry and I'm gonna go run so uh that was a good sign it was like that, that like my first instinct was like I'm gonna exercise as a way to let off steam and I was like okay that's that's good I I'm glad that my my brain took me there Instead of just like downing an entire pizza or something. So anyway, but some days have been better than others. I mean, I still have rough days. Um, it's not, I mean, it's not terribly easy. Staying motivated is very hard, um, but it gets easier the more you do it. So I will say that much. And I'm feeling pretty solid now. So, but uh, I highly recommend if, if you're if you're at home, if you're thinking of like trying to get into shape or whatever, the Couch to 5K program, I really love that a lot. That's that's what I that's that was the one I do I did, and I really liked it, and it worked for me. And you can do it at whatever pace you want. Um, like you can go real slow if you want. I mean, hell, you could walk that if you wanted. But you know, it's just it's good times. It's good times. Anyway, uh, Bingo Boy, brand new Prime Warden. Thank you very much. Uh, Gilgamesh TV, what, Gilgamesh H, uh, Gilgamesh TTV3, thank you very much, Brandy Warden, as well. Hey, hey, fan. Hey, Jack, my Jack Russell dog, Jackson, is recovering from knee surgery, locked in his cage, and he hates it. Three weeks is, he's allowed out, yeah. Uh, crate training dogs is a huge pain in the ass. And, uh, but I think they get better for it. talking talking exercise again I used to play ice hockey so rollerblading has been my physical activity recently that's a cool one what are you building today IC4117 I'm building the Lego grand piano there's my camera right there so that's what I'm working on I'm on step six here's the the first five steps led to this some really cool things like these little pistons that go up when you hit them I don't know how they're gonna work yet exactly but man that's really cool some neat stuff going on with this one a cool build. Uh, the zombie 5K is fun too. Uh, Calithandra, I, that sounds cool. There's a Disney 5K, and they're doing a digital Disney 5K. And my, my sort of goal for myself is I want to run a theme park, like 10K, or Jesus Christ, maybe even a marathon someday. And so um, I've been looking into that, and like the the first digital 5K, I'm like, oh, it'll be cool because it'll end right around the time I'm finished my uh, my. Um, couch to 5k it's sold out so i was like crap and then there's another one actually happening soon and i think it may have sold out already too so that makes me sad but it's okay there's plenty of those and i'll do one in the future but i would like to do some kind of like run club type thing i don't know if that's a possibility it'd be fun it's ridiculous i love that it functions yeah traveling history student it's crazy the amount of stuff that goes into this thing uh dad style brand new warden thank you very much dad style um pit Pit per, okay. Pit per C, pit perk, 80s kid, brand new warden. Thank you very much. Um, Knife Chief 82. Let's start the warden warden running team. Man, that could be fun. Like I don't know. Like the I will say the one thing 
Like I do the I have Nike Run Club um, on my iPhone. That's what I use to track my stuff now. I finished the Couch 5K. There is a 5K to 10K app. I don't think I'm ready for that yet. I want to get my body really used to running 5Ks. Um, but uh, the issue I have with the uh, Nike Running Club is that it'll show you a map of what you've done, but it shows your neighborhood. And as much as I love you guys, I'm, I'm trying to keep some sort of, you know, anonymity. So I don't want to have that stuff pop up online and, you know, just trying, trying to keep our, our house relatively off the grid. So if we can figure out a way to do that where it doesn't like pop up with that kind of stuff, the privacy things, that'd be pretty cool. If I wasn't pregnant, I'd be running. I miss it so much. Oh, Rogue Justice, that's... Well, see that. I mean, your first mistake was having a kid. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's well. Once you're once you're once you have your child, then hey, go running again. It's a lot of fun. Just strap your kid to your back and go running with it. That's how that works, right? Okay. Four of these, and then we're gonna do two of these things. This Christmas music that's playing now. Hear like sleigh bells. Can't tell. YouTube, you got to work on your your classical music selection, man. Two of these things. New tune gives me Slavic vibes. Okay, jog stream. Is that a thing you can do? Do you want to watch me just like panting for thirty minutes? I don't know if I could do that. Do an IRL jogging stream. That's also another thing because, you know, if I'm worried about people seeing my location, if I'm jogging with a camera on me, I would have to I would have to go somewhere to go jogging. I, like I love y'all again, but probably would not be uh just straight up showing you where I'm running. Oh yeah, the Spino Breaker. Have you like the Lego Dinos? Those Lego Dinos are awesome, actually. Lego um, Spino Breaker, some really really cool stuff. If you guys haven't checked out Spino Breakers. Uh, he, Spino Breaker builds um, Lego dinosaurs, like original designs. I'm assuming, and they're really really cool. Okay, and two of these. Okay, so this goes here. Uh, Coach Super Pants. Can't believe Christmas is next month. Time is flying. Is time flying, though? Is time flying, really? Is that a thing that we're saying right now, that time is flying? Interesting. It certainly feels like time has slowed down. In October was the longest three months I've ever experienced, I think. Just saying, maybe time's not moving as quick as we'd like it to. February, really end of January, can't come soon enough for me. Um. Anyway, and two of you. All right, so we're gonna do doing three. Oh, no. Nope. Leaving two, not three. Go. That. And then a long one. And that guy. All right, we're starting to go vertical with it. Uh, this year has gone slow, but fast at the same time. It's hella weird. <laughs> hella weird is a very appropriate way to describe 2020. Very appropriate use of the term hella. Okay. Uh, Coach Super Pants must be just because I'm Australia since we had zero local cases in all of Australia the other day. We've been very lucky over here, but thanks for your entertainment for it. Hey, you got it, man. That's 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 awesome. I'm very proud of you. Very proud of Australia. 
Um, Sir Lance a few, 36 months in a row. Hey, Jack, this stream is exactly what I need this week. Keep being awesome, dude. Thank you very much, Sir Lance a few. Thanks for being around for three years, dude. Aloha, Anna. Hey, Anna. 11 months in a row. Hi, Jack. Almost a year. Uh, it's been a while. Hope all is well and hope always. Uh, I, and as always, I am glad to be here to support you. Thank you, Anna. That's super kind. Uh, Racy Silverfang, six months in a row, 33 total. Hey, Jack, two nights in a row with my favorite streamer after a raid. Epic. How's the Lego going? It's going well. Thank you very much, Racy. And the Artistic Zombie Brand New Warden. By the power of the beer rebonnet. Thank you, guys. Okay, moving along. Moving right along. Mm. Let's move these. Do those. Katie's playing with the dog. Super cute. Do those and oh well, I threw that one off the end of the table. Curses. All right, we got it back. And that's it. Okay. We're gonna do. That right there, this is going to be a little tricky to get to. Sort you. Okay. Single. And double. And then a four piece. A really long one. Four, two, one. Four, two, let's go ahead and drop that guy down, and then this guy in the corner, and that. There we go. Ray Silverfang. Uh, great, Jack, just heads up. It's Reiki. God, Reiki. I thought it was Racy. Reiki Silverfang. What are, your plans for, uh, what are your plans for game streaming next for us? Well, uh, Reiki... I tell you right now, I'm gonna forget that. By the way, I'm so sorry, uh, Ricky. I uh, there is another Assassin's Creed game coming out very soon. I think that's gonna be the next big game I dive into. I, I played Odyssey entirely on stream. I think I'm gonna do the same with with uh, Valhalla, most likely. So I'm kind of uh, dragging my feet until that comes out. I'll be honest, because I am very excited for that one, and I should be. Pretty quick to play it. Yeah, the holly is gonna be great. Um, okay. There. Meant to do that. Meant to do that. I don't think anything went flying off the end. Okay, gap of two. And then a gap of two. And then this big one, yeah, yeah, and there we go. So much pressure I'm putting into it. Can't wait for you to start streaming. I'll make sure to tune in for, uh, for sure. Thank you very much. I want not life. Um, yeah, should be pretty soon. I need to uh, check a few things and some emails, and I might be able to actually stream it a bit early if I'm lucky. Okay. That one. And this one. Okay. Uh, two one by twos. Two of these and two one by fours. One. You can double stack the one by fours. Uh, Kobe K3, two months row. Yay, Lego stream. Thank you, Kobe. By the power of the beard, Rabon. Appreciate you. The power of the beard. There's so some many different ways to throw up three fingers. By the power of the beard, Rabon. Okay. Got to be careful. Certain, certain ways to throw up three fingers now can be con misconstrued as uh, a bad sign, so I gotta be careful about that. Alright. Two of these. Four. 
from these guys. And then two of these little things. Because these go on the vertical bits. That one. And are you guys okay not seeing my face cam right now? And obviously I can't do it for this stream, but I might be able to rework something to do another epoch cam or something. I don't know. But I don't know if you guys really care that much because really this stuff is about the Lego. It's not about me. You good? All right, cool. I'm not exactly the prettiest person on the planet. And this allows me to do my, you know, gross faces whenever I'm trying to fit pieces together. Like, you know, my gamer face. Uh, I <laughs> thank you, Dr. Dake, for not seeing your face. Love you too, buddy. David, I hope we're gaming this week. I miss it. sides a bit um you're adorable jack thank you very much rainbow star that's very kind of you tell that to david and two more black one by two come on over and two of the drop downs hey i have name thank you for those bits very kind of you uh, oh, uh, SpaceX Gecko. Sorry, I missed you from before. By the power of the beer, beer bond, appreciate you. Uh, Tink Knight 22, thank you for those bits. Love everything you do, Jack. Thank you very much. Appreciate that as well. That's very kind. I love everything you do. Okay. And also, I mean, probably won't change this, but do you guys dig this overhead view of the Lego build stuff? Is this a cool way of of featuring it. It certainly is the most convenient for me as far as no cameras in my way and just being able to build. So I hope you're fine with it. Stingy Seagull. 20 months in a row. Thank you very much. Relaxing Lego stream is just what I need after the stress of yesterday. Are there any sneaky extra life details that you technically can't share but will anyway? Well, did you did you miss? Hang on. Did he miss this? Ooh. This lovely blanket is really nice. A really lovely blanket. I'm just gonna say, Stingy Seagull, you should check it out. You grab a blanket when you can. Uh, I think we're done there. Also, by the power of the beer rebond, appreciate you. I like the overhead view, but it makes me feel like I am also watching law picking lawyer. Oh, law picking lawyer doing Lego. <laughs> that guy's awesome. Two of you. Those two. And that one. Okay. <clears throat> a gray one off the end. Long one. And then that. Okay. Or this mauve, not gray. You're not that colorblind, Jack. And then we'll do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and Uno Mas. There we go. Uh, what are you saying when you're holding three fingers up? Inner Hudson, I'm saying, by the power of the beard, we are bonded. That's a, a little slogan we came up with, geez, almost five years ago, four and a half years ago, uh, for our new wardens. I think the, the chat actually came up with it. So that's what we say whenever we get someone who subscribes to our channel. We say, by the power of the beard, we are bonded. 
Uh, get Swan Eret. Get Swan Eret. Jack, a reminder, when's the next DJ Jonk stream? Hey, hey. Next DJ Jonk stream is Friday the 13th at 9 p.m. Central Time. It's going to be an extra life DJ Jonk stream. So come hang out with me. Watch me play some music. Get into the mood of extra life. So it's going to be lots of fun. We're actually doing 13 hours of kind of solo streaming stuff before we get into the big extra life stream on the 14th. So starting at 9 p.m. Central and going until 10 a.m. Central, we're doing solo stream stuff across a bunch of different streamers uh, for Achievement Hunter, for Achievement Hunter, for, uh, for Rooster Teeth. So yeah, so I'm gonna be kicking it off at 9 p.m. with the DJ Jonk stream and then throwing it to some other folks. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And maybe you can affect the songs that get played by donations. Okay. And then this one. David, did you finish building your uh, your piano yet? Have you got it in yet? Dr. Dake was also getting one as well. Speaking of Wardens, how does it feel to have a Minecraft mob now named Warden? <laughs> this is just to everyone. It's pretty rad, right? Two of these. Two of... Oh, God. Two of these. Okay. And then... Single dot. That guy. That guy. Single dot. And you. Wow. This is another another bag where there are literally zero leftovers. I dig that. Okay. And done. There we go. That was bag six, you guys. Gold Stackle, or Gold's Tackle. Sending love and bits. Thanks for being one of the best entertainers and personalities on the internet, my friend. Thank you very much for that. Megan the Mizzo, brand new warden. Thank you very much. What a mic. Three months in a row. Hey, Jack, so happy to see you again. Just started playing Sevtech Ages of the Sky. All the fun of Skyblock with the grind of Sevtech. Is that a new version of, of Sevtech? Ooh, that's kind of cool. Flux Armageddon, brand new warden as well. Thank you for that. Uh, Megan the Mezzo, thank you for those bits. Super nice. Thank you for getting me through so many tough times. Well, hey, thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Uh, I have name. I was also brand new warden as well. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah. And then we had Flux Armageddon gifting 10 subs. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. To Signal Operator, Spino Breaker. Hey, Spino, you got one. Uh, Skeptical Hat, Sheep G. Sheep G. Notorious Pie Bandit, CR Gambit, Kaylee LK, a regular Friday, excuse me, a Griffy Boy, oh, or Griffy Boy Face, uh, and We Heart Games. By the power of the beard, we are bonded. Thank you very much, guys. All right. Moving on to bag seven. This is just, just black pieces in this one, so this should go pretty fast, I imagine. kind of building up it looks like okay space these out a little bit get some of the more obvious ones together anyway and then some smaller bits Let's continue. Uh, Jack, have you ever wanted to try Muay Thai? Oh, God, no. <laughs> Watching just Tony Job. Like, no. Uh, no, I've never tried. Never thought of doing anything like that. Boxing is enough for me. Like, I've thought about doing some boxing stuff. Uh, but no, no Muay Thai. 
I think my legs would break. Okay. It would just snap right off. And on the end. Right there. Two of you. Two one by threes. And two corner bits. Corner bit. Corner bit. Three. Three and my twos go on the end. All right. Okay. Two of the one by eights. Two of these brown ones. A single one of those and two one by three. up nick did a flippo brand new warden thank you very much by the power of the beer rear bond appreciate you hey jackman of fans it's 2011 thanks for a chill stream during these stressful times you got it uber try hard my pleasure the least i can do thank you for hanging around while i build some lego it's a lot of fun for me hopefully you guys at least put up with it <laughs> the stream is like warm milk for my soul that's very kind monkey Muay Thai reminds me of Kenichi's Mightiest Disciple. Oof. Don't even know what that is, but it sounds painful. Okay. Long one. Six. Mm. I don't, I have no idea. When we flip this thing, I don't know where it's going to go. Through the back? I, yeah, I have no idea. I have no clue what we're building this thing for. Okay. Two these four one by twos. Where's my last one? There it is. Two two by twos. Four singles. Okay, so in front of that, okay. and on top of that as well, okay, that, and then we do angles around this, Put our other one eggs on top of those. One, two, flat. One, two, and a flat. There we go. All right. Two, 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 and two. Good to see some fellow anime fans. You guys talking anime in chat right now? Kasi, you don't like travel? I love travel, dude. I miss travel so much. I fly so often. Tip well in a normal, non-horrible year. I miss flying. I miss traveling. I love seeing the planet, seeing other parts of the of the world. There was a, I was I was actually really happy, kind of happy, sad. 
Um, there was a thread on Reddit uh, today, as a matter of fact, maybe today or maybe yesterday. It was uh, today. I learned the shortest flight on the planet is a less than one minute flight in northern Scotland, northeastern Scotland. And I'm like, I've taken that flight. I've been on that flight. I was like, that's pretty cool. A neat little thing to be a part of. I'm like, oh yeah, that's between uh, Westray and Papa Westray. Kind of cool. I've gotten to do some really neat things in my life. And taking the world's shortest flight is certainly one of them. Although I forgot to get the, uh, they have like a little little sheet of paper you can get when you're done that says like, this certifies that you know whoever has taken the world's shortest flight, and I totally spaced and forgot to grab one. So, didn't actually get it. But I did spend a good amount of time just hanging out in a uh, air control center in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> Scotland for some time. So that was pretty wild. Okay. That and that. Two of those and four. Those. Two. Five threes and two of that. Ash 12, 12, 8. Hey Jack, thanks for being so awesome and kind. What has been your favorite Lego build you've ever done? I mean, the the Millennium Falcon is pretty dang badass. The 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 big Ultimate Collector Series Millennium Falcon, that's a really fun build. Um I gotta say though, the Lego Nintendo, the Lego NES. That was a lot of fun too, I'll be honest. Like that was a really, really clever build. And um had a good time building that one. So I just I love the massive sets. That's my big thing. I love the sets that are huge. Like even this one's a good size. Like I love the hefty ones. Like the ones that look good on a counter somewhere. Or on like on a mantle or on a like a bookshelf. Um this one. Yeah, this one's really cool. This one is a bit more expensive than I intended. I actually bought this when this one on sale the same day the Lego NES went on sale. And so I was like, oh, I'll get them both. And then I put them both in my cart and I started to check out. And I was like, wow, that's a bit more expensive than I meant to get. Well, that's okay, though. And then uh, the piano actually sold out. And so I checked out and it was like the piano sold out. And I was like, oh, well, I guess I didn't get it. Um, I guess I don't need it then. That's okay. But it kind of put me in like this weird sales limbo that it, they already had my information. They're like, we're going to get one to you. And then like two months later, it finally like charged me and like, all right, we're sending it to you. And I had forgotten about it at that point. I was like, oh, whoops. Okay. But anyway, I'm happy to get it. It's a cool set. I'm excited for it. Excited to see what it's all said and done. It'll look really pretty. So. Just hopped in. What are we building? Dr. Crazy. We are building the Lego. Oh, it's stuck to my finger. The Lego Grand Piano. So. I am uh, on on bag seven. This is what we built last time. It's pretty cool, actually. Like the hammers work. Like it actually will play notes and stuff. It's pretty wild. But now we're building additional parts of it. I think this is the front of it. Again, I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. But hey, we'll find out. Okay. Mm hmm. I hear a dog. Hello, dog. What are you doing, dog? What? What? Uh oh. Hello, dog. How are you? What are you doing? All right, go say hi to your mom for me. Came in for a pet and left. Okay, that's fine. I get it. I see how it is. All right. So now this, and then a single and the long one. She was being a dog. Katie's here, everybody. If you want to say hello? Is she scared of this room? That's probably a good thing. Do you want to come say hi, Katie? I don't know what she... Katie said, I just wanted to, and then I didn't catch what she said. 
that's okay. We'll figure it out. I know you guys love her more than me, so that's all right. Everyone's saying hi, Katie. Hi, Katie. Yes, hi. They're all saying hi to you. That'll be fun. Emma! Hi, Emma Dog. Emma's here. Emma, you want to say hello? Emma. Oh, Emma, you almost saw your face. Okay. I'm gonna go with your mom. Okay. I gotta readjust this. Okay, uh, Knife Chief, now we all know you wouldn't be Jack without Katie. That is true. That is true, Knife Chief. Uh, Zeth Three Seuss. Z Z Zeth uh, Zeth Seuss. Brandy Prime Warden, thank you very much. By the power of the Beer Rebond, appreciate you. Thank you, guys. Doji, yeah. Emma's a good girl. AOC for Extra Life. Oh, God, that'd be awesome. If anyone happens to have AOC's contact, let her know. We'd love to get her on for Extra Life. All right, three of these guys, two of these, two of these. Did I do that one already? I did not. I missed a step. Two of these, and then these four thingies. Okay. That's one. Two and that there and there. Now then we go up the sides there and there. Long short long short and the long piece. There we go. All right. Hi, Katie. Wanna say hello? Katie's here, everybody. Hello. What you making? I'm making a piano. Is that like what part of the piano? I think this goes on the front. So like this is the piano where you, where you sit, and I think it's gonna go here somehow. Mm -hmm. Not entirely positive. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Neat build. You asked Twitch. <laughs> you asked Twitch to give Trey a switch? Wait, you asked Twitch that? Are you like in chat? They were just giving out switches to their partners or whatever. Oh, okay. Giving them out willy nilly. <laughs> and I was like, well, how about you give one to a kid in poverty? Nice. Katie found a, a local kid who, uh, who's been walking our dog because he wanted to raise money for, um, to buy video games. He wants to get a PS4. And so... To play with his friends. His family had to sell his so that they could keep up the boat. So, and so he was like, does anyone have any work for me? I can do, like, whatever you need me to do in a non-weird way. Uh, he's like, I'll do yard work and, like, do whatever. And so I was like... Okay, how do we get this guy <laughs> money? Um, but he wants to work for it. Yeah, he wants to adopt him. I also really, he, he's just such a great kid. I don't, spoil this is a weird thing to say when we do Extra Life every year. I just, I don't love little kids. Like, I'm not good with, that's not true. I'm actually great with children. Um, I guess I just, at present, don't have any interest in having kids. And so... But anyway, he just kind of stole my heart. And today he taught me about bridging languages and it was so sweet. He came in because we let him in and, and he gets the dogs and he takes them and he's really sweet. He's like, hi Emma, how are you today? Okay, you ready? Like he's so freaking cute. But today I was like, how was school? And he was, oh, you know, stressful. But today a teacher gave me a compliment and I was like, oh, what did they say? And then he told me all about this project he did. And I was like, you are freaking, I love you. 
Um, he's just really sweet and considerate and kind. And I just, yeah, anyway. And I'm like, what 14 year old kid? I posted on Twitter as well about how uh, he wants more work so he can make more money. Um, because obviously, you know, no, that's okay. He's not going to make it entirely from walking our dogs twice a week, you know. Um, and so he was like, do you mind? Um, he's like, I meant to ask you, do you mind? Is it okay if I take a, some pictures walking your dogs today so that I can tell next door, like that I can tell people on next door that I can walk their dogs and like get more people to hire me? He's like, but but only with your permission, of course. And I was like, what 14-year-old boy is that considerate? Like, what? And I believe that if I'd have said no, he wouldn't have done it. Like, I fully believe that. He's such a good kid. He is a good kid. He is a great kid. Anyway, yes, I want to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> like, if all children could be as, like... Just like fun and awkward and sweet. He's in love with his girlfriend, which I think is just hilarious. She'll break his heart someday. She will absolutely, or he'll break hers. Um, but yeah, anyway. Yeah, so his family's just going through a weird time right now, as many families are. Um, and he's he just wants to stay connected with his friends. And they feel he feels a bit left out. Because they go home and they play Fortnite together, but his family had to sell his consoles, so. It's very sad. Well, it's not sad, you know, if that happens. I didn't have any consoles growing up. I got, a PS2 was my first console, and I think I got it at, like, 17. Nice, that's a good console. It's the best, I don't, I got the PS2, and now I don't want anything else. Yeah. Like, I just keep going, Jack, can we just play it on PS2? Did they make that game on PS2? <laughs> All the games I loved. Harry Potter. Well, that's not true. We got, uh, I played Treasure Planet too on PS2, which I loved. We, uh, my friend Ryan, he used to lend us his, uh, his family got every console as they came out, and he used to lend us his, um, what's the gray one? The Dreamcast? No, no, it was, it was a Nintendo. Is Dreamcast Nintendo? Uh, no. Super Nintendo? I think it, no, it was Nintendo 64. Ah. It was a Nintendo 64. And we used to play True Lies on it. When that movie came out, they made a game for it. Oh, yeah. And my sister and I, when we would play it, uh, and my little brother too, I think, there was a thing that you could do where you could place a mine down. And for whatever reason, we were just obsessed with that song. Do a little dance. Oh, from Dr. Doolittle. Do a little dance. The guinea pig. Make a little love. Get down tonight. And so we would make Arnold Schwarzenegger's character do a little dance, make a little love, and get down tonight. And getting down tonight was placing the mines on the ground. Oh. Good times. Good times. <laughs> Dr. Doolittle is such a fun movie. We watched uh, Doolittle, the... the What's his name? Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. one a couple days ago because I just desperately wanted to see it. I'm, kids movies are like uh, like a mental health must have for me. I just, there's kids movies of just the right amount of like, actually, I don't know. I don't really go to Disney, Disney kids movies. I usually go to like DreamWorks and Universal and those ones because they always have happy, happy, happy endings. Whereas you go to Disney and you get like Bambi and Big Hero 6 and like a parent always has to die in those yeah, movies. Yeah, that's the Disney go-to. They murder, they murder parents. I don't know why, but uh, but anyway, so I, anyway, kids movies are like my, my go-to self-care thing. And so we watched Doolittle and I so desperately wanted to love that movie, but Jack and I just went away with so many more questions than we had answers to. Um, which was a little bit of a shame, uh, but yeah. I still love it. It was not great. I really wanted it to be. I really, really wanted it to be, but it was something in the editing and the writing. And also like the, all the VO or all of Robert Downey Jr.'s audio was like dubbed in. So it sounded really weird. See, I didn't, I didn't catch that. I didn't yeah. catch that part. I just thought it was like. It was also like him doing his, his Sherlock Holmes voice. Like it was what, very he, similar. Wasn't he Scottish or Irish? I don't know. That said, I did start watching Sherlock, uh, like, almost immediately afterwards. Uh, I forgot how, I just kind of don't like violence in films, um, at all. 
Um, so I typically go to kids' movies because there's usually very little violence. Wow, this is a big set. Pac Monster says it was certainly not his Sherlock voice, but it was some kind of accent. <laughs> yeah, I think it was like Irish or Scottish because they, they said Lord. they went to school in Edinburgh. Look how big this thing is. It's huge. I thought this was on the side. It's actually the front of it. Oh, so that makes sense. So this is more. This is that is huge. That's a big piece. Where are the keys? Like, where will they go? Uh, I'm assuming. I think they have to touch these. Right? Well, those are so those are like hammers. So these get hit. Oh, got it. So they're gonna go here, and so it'll something will push up on these. Mm. Yeah, this is okay. wild. This thing is big. <laughs> Welsh sounds right. It's almost said Welsh. Yeah. Yeah, that could have been it. I mean, to be fair, you can say Welsh, and Welsh is basically an amalgamation of British, Scottish, and Irish. So. Okay. Okay, wow, this is... Yeah, the Pack Monster, the Eddie Murphy Doolittles. I love those movies. They are fun, fun movies. Um, I did like the concept in, um, in... The Robert Downey Jr. one that you could learn to speak to animals. I thought that was actually pretty neat um, because in the in the Eddie Murphy ones, there it's a genetic thing. Like you, you just can speak to them. So I thought that was interesting. Oh man. What's a warden cast? River. I don't know. I can't read that. Friday. New extra life goal. You and Katie start the warden cast. So is that just a podcast? And that's pretty much our streams, though, right? Whenever Katie drops in. You don't want to hear me. Uh, Lars, my bar is brand new warden. Thank you very much for that. For uh, becoming a brand new warden by the power of the beer rebond. Appreciate you. Katie is blind, by the way. I'm so blind. Okay. JJO, Katie, will Volcano be in your next candle batch? Yes. Can Volcano is the staple. Um, if I was told I could only sell one cent, that would probably be, uh, be the one. We're working on candles soon. Katie's been focused on school, rightfully uh, so. School has been a nightmare. I hate school. I don't hate school. I'm so lucky to get an education. I'm so thankful that I have access to it when so many women um, in, in many places just are not thought of as worth educating. And so I feel really grateful I have access to it. I think just this semester is really hard. Yeah, the tough one. It's been very challenging, but my professors, holy crap, have they been just the kindest. They have been just amazing. Really outstanding. I feel very lucky. I had one professor yesterday tell me, if your professors, your other professors, aren't doing the same things I'm doing, you should speak to their supervisors. <laughs> She's like, you, you should be able to work with your professors during this time to um, to navigate, because I'm behind in a couple of things. She's like, you should very easily be able to, to get, you know, the help and guidance that you need. So I was like, uh -huh. Basically, she was like, you should expect that you be treated with compassion, and it, and it was really nice. Basically, Katie is a fantastic student, and she doesn't think she is, I'm, and she totally is. I don't know. I used to be. I don't feel like it now. I just took a two-hour nap at six o'clock in the afternoon. The dogs? Are... They are. I'm gonna go get them. <laughs> Let me know how your garden's going. <laughs> anyway. Well, thank you, Katie. Are you coming back? Alright, Katie said she'll probably be back. I just realized that, oh yeah, she's one of the animals outside. Okay. Uh, that's where was I? Wait, I was getting these things. And four of these. This set is a uh, freaking enormous, you guys. I thought it was big. I didn't realize it was this big. So, we are in for a treat when it's all said and done. Okay. And then this long piece. Uh, yeah, this is huge. I'm gonna press this guy. And that on the end there. Four of these things go here. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out, by the way. Appreciate y'all. 
three and a one. Yeah, that's good God. Running into another situation of like, where am I gonna put this monster of a build when it's all said and done, you know? But I'll find space for it. This this will look pretty. Like this this will go somewhere where it's like, okay, it actually looks nice and it belongs somewhere pretty. As opposed to like like my Star Wars stuff is like it looks awesome, but it's like that's super geeky. You can't exactly put that on the mantle in the living room. It's not anymore. <laughs> okay. Huh. This thing and a long piece. And then Okay. Two, one, one, another wing. Anyway, you sure can live your dreams. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see where we can put it. The Millennium Falcon, I've got some ideas. So, like, my stream setup right now, I kind of have just, like, this, this shelf behind me. I think I may actually build some more shelves on, like, physically onto the wall so it sinks back a bit further. Um... So we'll see. And with that, I might be able to make a lot more room behind me. If I do that, then that's going to open up space. Maybe I put the Falcon there. But we'll see. So I do have some ideas. Like, I do want to incorporate Arduinos and things like that into it. Or, or like RGB lights. So I am still interested in that stuff. I don't want people to think I stopped it. I just kind of got distracted. I do have a project in mind for my uh, LED stuff that I still I need to talk to someone about programming. If, if you've if you programmed Arduinos and LEDs and mess with those at all shoot me an email. Jack like things at g Jack likes things at gmail.com um, I've got a small little project I don't think it'll be terribly difficult programming wise but uh, and I'll pay like, I will send you the scope of the work I'm looking at and uh, if it's something you might be interested in Basically, I'm looking for like some sound reactive LEDs and um, I've got all the hardware mostly, mostly built, mostly. But it's just a matter of actually putting it together. One, three, one, and then one, two, and two. Okay. Uh, Gator Kane. Gator Kane, brand new warden. Thank you very much. By the power of the beater, we're bonded. Quack Among Us. Quack Among Us. So Jack will be getting Uno the movie Dose soon. Probably not, I'll be honest. Uh, we had plans for an Uno follow-up. Um, that fell through because of COVID, I'll be honest. Um, but... It's, it's a really, really good idea, and it's something that I think we can do still, so we want to save it. Um, but a lot of people are saying, oh, it's, it's, election, it's election day, are you going to do, you gonna do um, Uno? And it's like, uh, this election was a little bit too serious to kind of goof around with. So we were like, you know what, we'll do it at some point, but people should be more focused on what's happening on the planet right now. Um, so... But we will return to it. We will do Uno, Uno Dose or Tuno or Tuno. Excuse me. It'll happen. Don't worry. It will happen at some point. And you, you guys, hopefully, will enjoy it. Although it's one of those things. It's like the musical where it gets hyped up so much that pretty much the only thing we can do is let people down. <laughs> we'll put it out, and people are like, oh, well, that's. All right, I guess that wasn't what I was expecting, but okay. That'll be really disappointing. So, we have that to look forward to. Okay, two smooth pieces. Four of these. Uh, two of those. And these two guys. 
Hmm. All right. I'll do that in there. Go. Now four of these. Two, three. Well, let me know if the music stops, by the way. The playlist is only so long. I don't know how long it'll hold up for before the music ends. So. All right. Uh, too smooth. And two more of these guys. All right, those go on the end. And that goes, yeah. Jack has got some impeccable timing. What does that mean? I think my cat sat on the keyboard and broke it. Yeah, Cooper totally sat on the keyboard and broke the music. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, Squeedly, or Squidly, brand new warden. Thank you very much. By the power of the beard, we are bonded. Feel the crux. Come on, Jack Uno, the twoofy. <laughs> uh, zombie Lock, 21 months in a row. Thank you very much, S Zombie Lock. Appreciate you. By the power of the beard, we are bonded. Sarah Cuda. Sarah Cuda. Ooh, Sarah Cuda. Anyway. Uh, thank you for those bits. Appreciate you. All right. The one and only legend DJ. <laughs> yes. My kitty cat. Certainly. Oh, my God. 49 of these tiny little things. All right. Here we go. We got to watch this for the next couple minutes. Move this over here. Face upwards. All right. So many of these little prickly things. Again, they should get straightened out when we put pipes on them, which it looks like we're about to do after this. Still, they're fiddly and frustrating. God, so many. Literally all the way across. Okay. Um, okay. the bottom for this row. We'll go back and. That's the first layer done. Now we put in the second layer. This is killing my finger. My finger is being killed. And yeah. Relaxing. 
peaceful, calming voices, man, woman, person, camera, uh, bottom. And there we go. All right. Whew. Now we got a bunch of these things. These really exciting long pieces. So I'm assuming this is all of them I need. bunch of these things okay is there anything to scale where I can measure these no of course not okay looks like 12 really long ones I'm guessing that's this bag six all right so there's 12 I need three long ones that are a little bit shorter that's these. Five short ones. Okay. Either I have extra ones. So I have six. All right, so I need five short. I've got six. Five next sort of level. I've got six. Three mid and 12 long. Okay. So I have spare of these two. You want to check out how you're doing? What do you think of last night's election? Uh, Lego boy? It was, uh, it was interesting. I mean, pretty much everything we expected to happen happened as far as how the votes were going to be counted. Um, I'll say it was a little bit... Uh, I'll, I'll be honest, the numbers were a bit bit um, off from what I thought it was going to be. I was kind of expecting uh, the Democrats pretty much to be able to shut it down and have sort of a... Maybe not a landslide, but do pretty dang well. Uh, that did not happen. But ultimately, it looks like Biden will take it with the uh, mail-in ballots. So. Yep. I just, the next uh, few weeks will be very interesting as kind of like the sort of handover of power is going to be coming up. And, uh, yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Wait a minute. Okay, so. Five. Okay, then all of these. Yeah, five, five. I got a three here. I think these two go in the back. And this one goes right up to the front. A little bit longer. And now our 12. Oh, Turtles and Chill in here. What's up, Turtles and Chill? I sent everyone over to you guys last time, but I think you guys were out already for the night. Front. 
little bit longer than the rest. If you guys haven't checked out Turtles and Chill, you should absolutely do so. It's an awesome channel. Very relaxing, very peaceful, and dig those guys. Hello. Katie's back, everybody. Yeah, you want to take Ellie off her chair? cram these things together somehow. Okay. It is a bit warm. Okay. So this. This is big. field between us. Good lord, look, look at this thing. This thing is so big. But mom, mom, I'm trapped. No. Do you want to tell people about, about Doge? <laughs> well, I don't know if I'll go that far. So Katie has some special information to tell everyone. Take it away, Katie. It's time for Katie. Ah, I just made my dinner. At ten o'clock at night. Uh, what am I? What? Does your camera go roving? Uh, it can. What? Is it on yeah, there? Yeah, you wanna? Is it? Well, I don't wanna like. I can take it is off. It, is it? All right. Simple? Yeah. It's pretty so, like that. Okay. And to keep it horizontal. I don't, I genuinely don't. Never mind, whatever you're pointing at, you can see. So. <laughs> Hello. I don't know, I don't, the microphone on there isn't, or it's not. Hello. All okay, right. Jack, you gotta I'll, I'll narrate what's going on. Okay, hang on, I gotta, oh, I I'm gonna turn around once you cross past me. That, he said my dinner and then he pointed at Cooper. Oh, yeah, also my dinner. <laughs> Actually, here, hang on. I might. Here, talk talking about, talking about, about that mic. How about now? I think, I think your, your phone has a, a mic on it, so, so you should be able to talk. Okay, I don't look great. I'm not going to lie. Oh, she just ran away. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, she's currently bullying a cat. This is Lizzie. Lizzie! Lizzie! Stop bullying Re <laughs> Rima sets boundaries pretty well. And now he's he's That's mad our dog that. Lizzie. Lizzie, ah, ah hey. Good girl. Good sit. Good sit. Good girl. This is Lizzie. Lizzie, are you happy? Are you happy too? You wanna show everyone your eyebrow she's like, excuse me, there's a cat there. Lizzie, show everyone your eyeballs. Get off me. Come into the light, Lizzie. Come here. Come here. Come here. Can you sit? Oh, I'm a good girl. Good sit. Good sit. This is Lizzie. She's 
She is a red Gila puppy. She's about eight months old now. Oh, you feeling sooky? You feeling sooky, Lala? And she is a nightmare, as all puppies are. And we got her when she was... We've had her for three weeks now? This week was three weeks? Hi, that's my crutch. Ma'am? 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 Thank you. Um, we've had her for three weeks. She was found on the side of a highway. Um, abandoned, but very happy. Uh, and so they took her to a shelter. She was matched with a family, a foster family. That's her butthole, which smells terrible, <laughs> by the way. She's going to go and attack Rima, but he's very good at setting boundaries. This is Jack. Don't mind his office right now. <laughs> My office is kind of a wreck, so I apologize. This is Cooper. This is Cooper. And that's my dinner. Both Cooper and the green stuff. Okay. Anyway, we can talk more about it, but I'll give you back the camera. Right, I'm, I'm going to mute the, the camera, camera audio. audio. Alright, we're just at the microphone again. Oops, sorry. Plug and go like here. Oh. All right, how does that look? Beautiful. So there we go. That's Lizzie. She's uh she's our new puppy, our new pupper. Oh, sorry, the the camera audio wasn't good. Sorry about that. I haven't messed with the, the camera audio on the uh, that roving mic. Anyway, yeah. Well, Katie can retell the story. Lizzie's now allowed in here. Well, now she is in here. Lizzie, what you doing? That's Ellie. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Come here. Come on, oh. Yeah, she's still she's still got puppy brain, so. And Ellie's still oh, like the cats are actually getting along pretty well. Squeak's still a little bit. Eh. At what point does a place become a zoo? Uh, when you have six animals. Is the correct answer. I know. Okay. Whining outside the door right now. Oh. She's a cry dog. It was touch and go for a while. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So that's Lizzie. Uh, L I double Z I E. Um, Named after a Jane Austen character. Jane Austen character. Um. And she's a red Gila mix with what I think is Jack Russell Terrier, which is my absolute nightmare. They are such bastard dog. Hey, no. Uh, no crying. She has, because we got her so late and she was already so big, her relationship with the cats has been really challenging because she's so much bigger than them. Um, and she's also a bit dumb. She's very dumb. She's, she's like, I've never, I've, you know, you know dogs and you're like, oh, you're a bit goofy, but she's actually like slow. <laughs> Um, whereas Emma, when she was little, she learned things so fast, she, but to, to, to the, you know, on the other side of that, Emma was also really, uh, Emma, I think Emma might be a Slytherin, like Emma was really calculated and manipulative and just the worst puppy in so many different ways. She was a horrible puppy. Um, but we got through that, and now Emma's great. Well, it only took two years, so... It took like two or three years for Emma to, to settle. It was it was pretty rough. But she's also an um, Australian Shepherd, so just, she's really smart. But cattle dogs are supposed to be really intelligent. We're in the kitchen just a quick, you know, uh, not, is it an uh, anecdotal thing? What do you yeah. mean? Anyway, just an example. We paid a... So, oh yeah, sorry. I'll quickly go back. Follow my train of throat thought uh, through properly. I uh, it wasn't going super well, um, and and I had this instinct like, don't let's just keep Lizzie to ourselves. She's our dog. I don't want to like share her with the world yet. I want to get her comfortable here and make sure everything's okay. And it wasn't looking okay the first uh, week and a bit, week and a half, because she. Um, would chase the cats she tore up everything i read everything i could about anxiety for dogs and about like training and she just wouldn't respond to anything whereas emma responded to everything super fast emma was toilet trained the first day we brought her home 
As a puppy. She as was like a, two months old, maybe. As a, as a, I think she was, she was probably about three months. I know she was really small because, um, she was smaller than the cats. And they were able to put her in a place. And she, like, they were able to set boundaries and she listened. Um, because they were bigger and scarier than her. Um, but Lizzie is already, you know, she was already 28 pounds when we brought her home. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, look, touch and go. So we hired a, very fancy and very expensive trainer, <laughs> a dog behavioral therapist, basically, um, to help us speak dog. And I feel like it is, do you think it's working? Yeah, yeah. I think it's working so much better. And he left us with all this homework. And so we do the, these things with Lizzie and Emma because Emma also is a troublemaker. Um, but well, oh yeah, they were getting into fights. She, that, was a, she was an only child and now suddenly she has to share. Yeah, she had eight years of being an only child with some cats. And now she has to share resources like love and and stuff um and attention not that she ever really wanted much attention but yeah anyway um lizzie was was attacking emma she attacked her about four times and it was usually it, you could never and this is what freaked me out is you could never tell when it was gonna happen she just snapped um there was no growling there was no fighting it was just something triggered her and she snapped and it was usually about food or it was usually about a resource about shelter or food um or toys like something you know that was that was hers and so we had to figure out uh how to stop them fighting and it's like you have to make sure that they know understand the dynamics of the pack and whatever so now we speak dog uh which is why i was upset when she rounded the corner and i went bah big to scare her is because that's our word that's basically us barking and growling we had to pick the word bah like so when she's doing something wrong we have to be big and tall and like try to put her in a place just by like being big and tall until she sits and whatever um or if they're fighting too hard or she's playing with the cats trying to get into the cat's faces or whatever we have to go bah and like make this this noise to her so we were practicing that in the kitchen and Emma, so we we're doing ready, set, go, which is where you drop food on the ground because Emma's a food whore. <laughs> and if I drop anything on the ground in the kitchen, Emma immediately goes to eat it. And one day I'm just terrified I'm gonna drop a grape or I'm gonna drop a piece of dark chocolate or I'm gonna drop something um, and she's gonna eat it and die. I'm just really afraid of Emma dying. Um, and so we're doing this ready, set, go thing, which is basically teaching them not to eat what's dropped on the ground unless I say they can. Um, and Emma got it in about three goes. Uh, I could get her to stand, I could throw the food or, or pretend I was making something, drop it next to me and she wouldn't touch it until I said she could or she would let me pick it up and put it into the sink, pretend sink is a treat. Uh, I'd reuse it, but um, Lizzie, Lizzie and I are still working on it. <laughs> Because for whatever reason, and she's a puppy too, I understand that. But again, Emma was such a smart puppy. I've never had to like change my my tactic and and be so consistent and like persistent with a puppy before. But she's just really slow, just really slow. And it's just so funny to see how different they are. Um, but I know she can. I know she can improve because we we've been working on her food. Her food, she knows she has to stay and wait until I put it down and I and I get away, then she can eat it. And she's been really, really, really good about that. So I know she can learn. She, she I think we were getting toilet training. Yeah. Um, yeah. She banged on the door yesterday or the other day when she wanted to go out and started whining. And I nearly cried because I was like, oh my God, you finally figured it out. <laughs> um, but yeah, and it's only been... Three, three weeks on Monday when we got her, but it has felt like the longest three weeks ever. Um, but she's a really sweet girl. It's funny because she's a cattle dog. She's a healer, a red healer. And she has one blue eye, one brown eye. And it's funny because Emma hated being cuddled when she was a puppy. And I think that's what made her being a puppy so much harder is because there was no reward from Emma. She never cuddled you. She never like came, like, she came to you because she you told her to but she there was no love it didn't feel like there was any love there emma if you sat next to emma on the couch playing with your back and forth doing something i'm not sure what uh, if you sat next to emma on the couch just to try to get a little bit of like contact with her she would get up and move 
Like, she just was not interested in, in pets and love. Whereas Lizzie is totally the opposite. She needs so much reassurance, so much love. She lets me snuggle with her um, a few mornings because we've been crate training her at night. But that, we just couldn't, we will get back into doing that. We crate train her during the day. Um, but at nighttime, it, it was just a bit too challenging. She'd just been a bit sick and it was too hard to be woken up in the middle of the night with her whining. And not whining because she needs to go out, but whining because she's lonely. So she's been sleeping on the bed the last four nights or so. And I've woken up with her just curled around my head. Like she's just, and she's like a 30 pound she's, dog. She's trying to smother you. Yeah, that's well, that's probably right. Uh, and she spoons with me. Like she's a really loving dog, which is really super nice. Um, and she's floppy, which is so weird yeah. for her breed. Oh, Alfredo's rating us. Oh, Alfredo. Hey, what's up, Fredo? Thank you very much, guys. Welcome. All the sauce pockets, welcome here. You guys, love y'all very much. Fredo, Fredo Raid, Fredo Raid. What's up, Fredo? Love you, Fredo. I see the heart. Aw, super kind. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. Welcome to, if, if you're new to the channel. Hi, I've just kind of kicked off uh, streaming again. And uh, yeah, tonight we are building the Lego Grand Piano. We started on Monday, and we've got this thing. It's huge. It's enormous, and I'm currently working on it. Katie's here as well. She's having her, her dinner. Hello, I'm eating my 10.30 at night dinner. She's eating avocados and quinoa. Uh, we just we just let everyone know that we have a new puppy. And she's crazy. Katie's telling everyone about that. But real quick, let me, let me catch up on some of these uh, messages here. Um, let's see here. Uh, Quattro for the win, 90, 19 months in a row. Thank you so much for streaming. I need a break from the nonsense going on. You're the best, man. Thank you very much, Quattro. Uh, Jonas Jazz 6 Four seven, brand new word. Thank you, Toy Shredder, gifted a sub to uh, Mister Mystery Pup. Aw, it's cute. Thank you very much, Toy Shredder. The, can the Captain Hawk, brand new warden as well. Geo Squirrel Jones, uh, Neop Effects, and I celebrated our fourth anniversary. Each year, we eat the same restaurant as our first date. Still haven't been able to get to have a wedding yet. Sharing our love with all of you. Love you, dude. That's awesome. Congratulations, uh, Captain Hank, gifted ten gift subs to Sand Mage Three B Sig, a freaking mage, Lord Rune Oak Rum Springer. Uh, common uh, Commodore Woods, Rin X Nats, Pajama Gamer, Rigsley, and Sontraka. Thank you very much, the Captain Hawk, for that. It's super kind of you. Hey, fan gift. All right, thank you for those bits. Jack and Katie just tweeted a picture of my doggy Jackson. You all regards Chris. I'll take a look at that. Uh, hey, hey, fan. Then Alfredo with that massive raid. Thank you very much for that, for that Fredo. The K Bussy gifted a sub to Alfredo. Aw, it's 28 months. Dude, Fredo, you've been around for over two years, man. Love you, buddy. Uh, K Bussy also resub for 16 months. Thank you, K Bussy. Uh, Eclectic Alien. Thank you for that. Hello, hello. Queen Laffy Taffy, brand new warden, and uh, Aria Always. Thank you for the bits. G'day from Brisbane and a hugs if you want them. Always want the hugs. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, man, okay. Uh, Austin Nash. That is that's pretty cool. That's sorry for the novel. That's okay. Um, man, funnel chest. That's a wild term. But I'm glad you're. Uh, I'm glad you're okay. And uh, yeah, uh, that's cool that you're you're living with that, and I I, I respect that, man. All right, well, hey, so now we are building some Lego. You can see here, this is the current, this is the size of this this monster. This is enormous for a Lego set. It's the grand piano. So it'll look like this when it's all said and done. So that's the, uh, the goal. So anyway. Thank you, everyone. Just having a, a nice chill stream, you know. It's been a, a stressful few days, and so I figured, you know, relax a bit and just kind of hang out. So hopefully you guys can come in, have a good time. Ellie, yeah, she's holding the dog gate down. So anyway, we're going to keep building this Lego set. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. I love you guys. If you give me a follow, that'd be great. Also, if you go to YouTube.com slash Jack Patillo, you can go see all my previous stuff, all my, all my archives. That's where I put all my strams. So go check them out if you want. You don't have to. If you want them, you can. Okay, so this is going to go there. All right. Doing the whole row of them. What was Lizzie up to? Uh, she's playing Prima, but I just put her and <clears throat> Emma in the crate. That's not a bad idea. So, how's everyone doing? Hope you guys are having yourself a nice night. 
What was Fredo playing? Fredo, what were you playing, buddy? I also uh, have chat up on my small laptop, so it's a little harder for me to read stuff. I apologize for that. I'm burnt out. I get that. I get those feels, man. It's been a been a stressful. <laughs> been a stressful. While. Is that Blaine on a skateboard I doing think squats? Has a mullet. Blaine has a mullet. I think so. Oh God. I don't know. I think. I don't think he has any hair in the back. Oh, I see. Damn it! I really wanted him to have a mullet. No, I think he does. Katie wants me to grow a mullet, or wants me to cut my hair into a mullet, and I told her no. What? I don't know. I think that's Shadow. You think? Yeah. Damn it, I really want him to have a mullet. Why? Mullets are horrible. Fun. F no. It's taken me so long to grow my hair out this long, and now you're like, go ahead and ruin it, because it'll be fun. Ah, damn it. He said uh, his hair's back in a ponytail that fell out. See? All right. No mullets for Jack. No mullets 2020. Huh. Ellie's guarding the door. Uh, Aria Always, brand new warden. Thank you, Aria Always. Uh, Angry Roach Gaming, thank you for those bits. Appreciate you. TT Rex, what's up, TT Rex? 48 months in a row, happy four years. How's it going, Jack? I hope you're having a good day. Just wanted to, uh, to know how long have you been into Lego? Like, did you start when you were a kid, or was it more as you grew up? Um, uh, no, it's actually, uh, I started when I was a child. My uh, my parents would buy me a Lego set for Christmas every year, and the kind of love of it never really waned. I, uh, I get a new set pretty much every Christmas. Even now, I still get a new set every Christmas, which is awesome. Um, let's see here. It's very cute. Let me catch up here. Kel uh, Kelzula Games gifted a sub to Austin Nash, 1995. Thank you for that. And Kelzula Games also resubbed for 18 months. Thank you very much for that. Garbotran, brand new warden, and a uh, Aventura PD, brand new prime warden. By the power of the baby bonnet. Thank you guys. Okay, this is going on here. He's so anxious. About what? Literally life, back. <laughs> life. Just in general. Just go Snap on anything? Okay. Boom. Boom. That's on. There's a little door here. Or there's a battery pack in there. So this will be a swinging door. That's cool. Angry Roach Gaming asks, are you doing Extra Life this weekend? I'm planning a 24 hours Saturday. Angry Roach Gaming, actually this Saturday, we're kicking off a week of Extra Life at Rooster Teeth, starting with a 12 hour community stream this Saturday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. We're featuring a bunch of different um, streamers and the Rooster Teeth community. And then all next week is gonna be featured Extra Life on the Rooster Teeth on, on RTTV. And then starting at 9 p.m. on Friday the 13th, we're doing 13 hours of solo streamers, just like people streaming for an hour on RTTV, raising money for Extra Life. Then at 10 a.m. Central, the 10 p.m. Central, on the 14th, on Saturday the 14th, we are doing a 12-hour Extra Life stream. So come and hang out with us there. It'll be lots of fun. Um, Aventura PD gifted two subs to Freeze Pyre and Rin May. Thank you very much for that. And Ultimate X13, I love seeing Lego sets put together, but I'm way too paranoid that I'll end up smashing it uh, to even try putting them together. I've done that, so totally understandable. And Zombified Male, uh, or Molly, just me, Zombified Molly, Brandy Warden, by the power of the Beer Rebonnet. Thank you. All right. I like Zombified Male. <laughs> I got it mixed up. I got it mixed up. Don't mock me. Okay, let's... We're adding on to this thing now. A big fin somewhere I need. There it is. That thing, this. How's Remember that Lego show we watched? Where there was these this really cool two dudes. Lego were, Masters. Yeah, that were really awesome, and we were like, "Man, I hope they win." And instead, the Mormons won. <laughs> <laughs> this couple that were like. Spoiler. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, that show's been out for over a year now. I'm really sorry. 
Um, anyway, this cup, this, this, this group won that we did not expect. They were very creative, but it was just kind of like, I just didn't fit the vibe, you know, it was really surprising. Um, but anyway, it was just funny because the, the guys, they, they brought their like daughters and whatever. And then the, the other group brought their entire extended family. <laughs> there was like 12 of them just in these business outfits like yes we really hope they win they could really use the money and i'm like could they or could i'm not really sure about that i don't know Feels anyway okay seems like a scam katie what do you have against mormons everything <laughs> no, I love moments. One of my favorite people in the whole world is and I think he's the human being on the planet. Um, and I know, of, what do you call it, people who leave the religion? Not defective in that they're a defective person, but they defect from the religion. And defective, maybe? No, I think it's defective. Um, but he is the cool, so he and his brother, oh god, they're so awesome. So I did philosophy with the younger brother. And he and his best friend uh, were 16 when I met them, like, I guess it was four or five years ago now. Um, and they were th some of the smartest people I'd ever met in my life. Um, and I learned so much from them. They were so well read. They were homeschooled. Um, but they were just really wise for their age. Um, and then I did, a few years later, uh, or a couple of years later, I did ASL with the older brother who could not have been more polar opposite. If they didn't look almost identical, I never would have believed that they came from the same family. Um, and their family is uh, Mormon, and the older brother is, a, is has gone on his like mission, or what do you, do you call it a mission? Yes, mission. mission? I don't remember where he went, but I just remember thinking he was a robot human. And not because, like, I thought the way he responded to things were robotic, but that his, his literal body moved like a robot. It was incredible. <laughs> uh, he, like, if I said, paint me a picture of a Mormon, that's who you would have painted. That's, that's who the Book of Mormon was based off of, truly. Um, he was just outstanding. And he was the loveliest, loveliest guy. I will say he did get very close to convincing me to join the Mormon Church. He got very the closest anyone's ever been <laughs> because he's just that passionate about it. Uh, and he's very so. The other thing about him uh, is that he was very pro gay rights, very pro equality, pro a lot of things that a lot of Mormons, uh, or a lot of the stereotypes of Mormonism. Um, you know, they're anti these things, but he was very pro all of that stuff. And he was learning sign language because. He wanted to be able to communicate with a larger um, group of people in his particular community. And his younger brother was in a heavy metal band. My philosophy guy was in a heavy metal band and like, I don't want to out him on this, he, he, but I learned so much about Mormonism. Like he, he told me uh, that one time, I said like, oh, do you drink coffee? And he said, I have one time. This is, I don't, I really don't want to out him on the shit that this kid's done. Uh, not a lot of it legal. Um, but the thing that cracked me up the most was that he, he's like, yeah, I don't really drink coffee because it's just really hard for me. And I was like, what do you mean? He goes, well, I tried it once in my house, but I had to go into the basement, open a window and drink it in front of a fan. <laughs> and I was like, I'm sorry, is it? Were you smoking weed while you were drinking the coffee? But I guess uh, Mormons aren't allowed to drink coffee. So he said he snuck an instant coffee packet into his house. He took it downstairs. He took, he microwaved, sorry, they had a microwave in his basement. He microwaved a cup of hot water, added the instant coffee, put a fan in front of the window and drank it almost out of the window and to me that is the most bizarre thing i had ever been told that's awesome uh you know i don't know uh, but he's he's lovely his whole his whole family are just like outstanding um the older brother is uh at the university of utah now um getting his degree there Brigham Young or university of utah i think the university of utah. is a ute the ute um my, he, he's my lovely 
my uh, college program roommate was a Ute. Utah. We called him Utah. It was Thomas, oh yeah, that's right. Thomas Itokazi. He was. Was he a Mormon? No. He's a liar. <laughs> yeah, he went to the University of Utah. I wonder if there's still the Utes, because Ute is a it's a Native American term. So like the you know. The Ute. Mm -hmm. mm hmm. Um. Yeah, and my other experience with um. The sweetest, my most favorite uh, Mormon guy I know is a guy that I did a study abroad with. Bless him. He was the only guy out of the 18 of us. Uh, it was from British literature. And my favorite, he was just so sweet and so awkward. He was on the spectrum. Um, he had just gotten married. And so he FaceTimed his wife everywhere he went to show her and share it with her. Uh, um, he, he, we, he got into some like conflicts there because he he talked a lot because he was really excited all the time and didn't know when to stop and so that irritated people i freaking loved him um and i always said like oh you know again i don't want to say his name let's call him larry I'm like oh larry i think you know jennifer just really wants to like just enjoy her beer for a second you know and like i would i would tell him that stuff um and he was totally fine but i don't know i just found people didn't really want to anyway point of my story is bless him <laughs> We had to wash our clothes in this laundry. We were staying at the University College, the University College of London. Okay. I think that's what it, the full name of it is. Uh, and I was picking up my laundry. I put it in the wash and I was going to get it out of the dryer. Um, and he was down there washing his Mormon underwear, which I don't know if you know anything. You should probably Google it, but he just had a garbage bag filled with this Mormon underwear and I didn't care none of us cared but of course he's very private about it um and we came downstairs and he picked it up he shit himself he picked it up but it's so big he didn't know where to put it there was like nowhere he could hide it so we just hit it behind his back and he's like oh uh hi uh what are you doing down here and it's like um I'm just picking up picking up my laundry <laughs> you know just washing my clothes picking up my laundry uh it was just awesome god he was so sweet i loved him so much he was really lovely so yeah i have no problem with mom yeah but so far all my experiences have been good maybe maybe not i don't know he was so sweet i learned so much about mormons all right how does this thing go in Yeah, I think it had to do with, um, I think he did explain it to me. It's a stimulant, or what he said was a stimulant. coffee, sorry to recap about the coffee. Um, that coffee is a stimulant, uh, so they consider it kind of like a drug and that it can be addictive. And so they don't put anything addictive that, and they consider that to be toxic to their body. So he was allowed to take, um, like painkillers and stuff though, I'm pretty sure. Um. But yeah, I think it was because it was a uh, like an uh, addictive substance. They're not supposed to have that. But he obviously didn't want to risk it with his parents. So. That's pretty neat. But people saying what happened. Oh, is there a, the hype train's going on right now? Thank you very much, everyone, for the hype train. Appreciate you guys. Here, let me catch up real quick. Um, I've just been over here talking about Mormons, Jack. That's okay. Eclectic Alien, thank you for those bits. Appreciate you. Angry Roach Gaming, thank you for the bits too. Jimmy Duels, thank you for those bits. Gator King, gifted a sub to Chaos105, thank you for that. Knife Chief82, wow, thank you for those bits. Are there any LEGO sets you don't have that you want to get? I, honestly, I have so many right now, but if, if I had to, if there's one I want is the LEGO Diagon Alley, just because it's awesome. It's four different buildings. They're all really pretty, and you can link them together. It's really, really awesome. So that'd be, that's my next target, hopefully once I clear off my shelf of a few. Team of Serena, how many people are going to host Extra Life? Uh, uh, well, it's going to be myself, Katie, Chelsea, and Chad are going to be the four main hosts during the 12-hour thing, but we're going to have lots of different people involved with it, so. Our nickname in meetings, our nickname in meetings, because saying Jack, Chelsea, uh, sorry, saying Jack, Katie, and, and Chad took too long, so we're just JCC now. So if JCC approved this or blah, 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 
But with Chelsea now it has to be JCCC. <laughs> it's just getting longer and longer. So many people. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys watch it. Bad Luck Ninja, brand new warden. Thank you very much. J Wolf 2006, brand new warden as well. Thank you. Aria always gifted two subs to Runaway Milky Way and Lord Vell. Thank you for that. Selena B X3, or Selena B times three. Angry Roach Gaming gifted a sub. Thank you very much. And also Selena B, thank you for being a new warden. Ultimate X13, thank you for those bids. Jax, thanks for the stream. Or right, thank you. By the way, thank you for the stream, Jack Katie. I'm working on a character concept for someone I want to see in Smite at the moment, and I'm banging my head against the wall trying to figure out abilities for him. So this is nice, nice and soothing for the whole process. I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, Burning Ashes 13, thank you for those bits. I'm going to say the stream is, a, is a, going a long way to help me while I'm in quarantine. Thank you so much for the calm. Hope you have a great day. Thank you for that. I hope it helps. Can and, we stop screaming? <laughs> and Gibbs, 1979, brand new warden. By the power of the beer we bonded. Thank you, guys. J Triple C. This is like an Australian thing. Welcome to J Triple C. Yeah, I think because um, people in America don't use double or triple. Like, uh, when I'm giving a phone number, I would say, like, uh, double five, wow. double four or triple three or whatever but they don't really do that here oh because it's like triple j yeah that's what you're saying oh no what'd you do i messed up you done goof jack done goof jc cubes that's funny there okay now we can done goof so big. How do you see how many people are watching? Uh, you can look over here. We have 991 right now. What? Here. That many people like you? <laughs> Love you too, hon. <laughs> My favorite was that photo that was going around and people like, I want someone who looks at me like Katie looks at Jack. And I was like, should I tell them that I was just really mean to him in that photo? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I said I... It was during Extra Life, right? It was uh, during RTX. We were on stage doing Extra Life. Too. Yeah. But um, I made a joke to Jack and I, and I said no one that he works with likes him. And he goes, I think they like me. And I went, do they? And as I was saying, do they? Whoever took that picture, uh, Russell, I think is his name. He took the photo. Um, and everyone was like, oh, she looks at him so lovingly when I was looking at him like, no one likes you. <laughs> You're just a lovely person. It was very sweet. Well, we're finally kind of sealing up the, the three sides of the, the thing right now. <laughs> All right. There we go. Wow, look at this thing. This is a beast it's so big it's so big it looks so awesome though. i'm actually really happy with this thing it is not small it is a lot bigger than i thought it was gonna be though what do you guys think this is cool so this little door here so this is to access the battery pack right in there because this thing you can control it and actually will play music and stuff so that's pretty cool <laughs> Okay. Oh, as a matter of fact, it wants me to test it right now. See if it still works properly. Now let's put these away. Our excess bits. Alright, so... My phone. <clears throat> Somebody says, is that a music box? Kind of! It's a virtual music box, so... Turn this thing on. It's a grand piano. Wait, wait. Oh yeah, it's a grand piano. Okay. Let me turn this thing on. And then we hit piano, and then we hit play. And... Oh, have you found it yet? Connecting, connecting, there it goes. So we hit play. Maybe. Uh, 
come here. Huh. Okay. Maybe that's not good. Not spinning. Does it supposed to spin all the way around? Yeah. So. Try a different song. Oh, listen. I'm doing listen, not play. Oops. That's what I wanted. There it goes. Okay. So you can see... There's gears inside spinning around. Okay. Good, good, good. Stop. Cool. Alright, well that's working. <clears throat> oh, we're gonna put legs on it now. Exciting! We're raising this puppy off the ground. Okay. Take some water. <sighs> Compassion is punk. Gifted a sub to Dechibi. Oh, thank you for that. Appreciate that. Welcome. Lego getting way more advanced from when I was a wee youngling. Yeah, it's definitely different now. Uh, little Ben two one nine. Thank you very much. Uh, thirty nine months in a row for Little Ben. Holy cow, Jack! Thirty nine months. Always love watching you. Well, thank you very much for that, Little Ben. By the power of the beer, beer bond. Appreciate you, buddy. All right. So this is going upside down. Huh. Where are we going to be playing with it mostly? Towards the back. <laughs> Such a beast of a set. Okay. I'm very excited because this year I'm... I'm participating in a secret Santa, and I love doing that. It makes me so happy. Have you got your person yet? Yes, and oh. I already bought one thing. Um, What's that, that Etsy thing? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then... Uh, I don't know what it was. I just saw a charge from Etsy. Yeah. And then uh, it's a it's the bold version of the thing I got you. Oh. Okay. And then I just don't want to say it in case it's here or someone that, that knows him is here. Um... And then uh, I'm gonna get a couple other little things. How much are you supposed to spend on this person? No one told me. <laughs> but I like him, and we've been friends for like ten years now, longer. Like seven, so. He's my he's my internet friend. Internet pal. My internet bud. Okay. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going putting legs on this guy. That is. Come on. There we go. Got four of these. Ah. That one. Okay. Uh, Sabin86, brand new Prime Warden. Thank you, Sabin86. By the power of the beer, we are bonded. Uh, SAS Beard, thank you for those bits. Didn't realize I had bits, but hello from uh, Victoria, Australia. Wanted to share the love and thank you for all the laughs across the years. Thank you very much for that. Hope Australia is doing well right now. Hope you guys are staying safe, staying cool, calm, collected. I need move this anywhere. I had a stress dream last night where there were these people there, this one uh, chick who hates me, the Hudson, were there staying in the hotel room next to me. I forgot my towel shower in the hallway? I don't remember. Anyway, I had to run naked back to my room. It was a whole thing. Um, but then I suddenly was going on a study abroad and I was a lesbian with that girl from um, Booksmart, not the actual lesbian, but the best friend. Okay. And so we were... Uh, she was the girl from, uh, what were we doing in the shadows? Yes. Okay. So we were in a relationship together, and then we 
got on the plane and we weren't sitting together on the plane but the plane was somehow like a restaurant it was really strange and then she dumped me for someone else on the plane going to australia for a study abroad program nice yeah so i can see how the australia part came in because the tickets going to australia are now like thirteen thousand dollars and i was like oh i'm never gonna make it home what if my mom dies or something happens and i have to go back i can't i literally cannot afford to go uh so i was just like panicking and devastated about that and then um and then uh yeah just the, all the stuff so uh marcus wellness says jack did you see that the city of denver repealed a 30-year ban on pit bulls oh that's cool. that's cool i did not see that I saw that marijuana is like legal everywhere now. That seems like yeah, and and Colorado. I want to say Colorado or Denver. Oh, it has to be Denver. Oh, wait, no, Colorado. Denver's in Colorado, right? Yes, Denver's a city in Colorado. Right. So Colorado, I think, legalized uh 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 science. Oh, I don't know why I can't say this word. I'm just I cannot say it. Psilocybin. Psilocybin. Ah. Little Simon. Uh, magic mushrooms. No, it was DC and Oregon, I thought. Oh, uh, I saw it. Maybe graphic. Colorado. Maybe it was. Actually, no, it was Oregon. It was Oregon. Uh, it was Oregon. Um, which is very exciting. Um, and I know that another state uh, decriminalized it that wasn't just DC or Oregon. And one of them um, allowed for trials for uh, uh, medical use of psilocybin, which is magic mushrooms. And I'm so freaking excited about it because the government, ban the war on drugs basically banned any research to do with psilocybin and LSD and MDMA um, for treatments, for medical treatments um, and marijuana as well, which put basically medical research back 20 to 30 years. And so now that they've finally slowly they basically raised enough money to petition the government to allow them to do studies at John Hopkins. Um, and they've been outstanding. It's something like 96% of people who uh, are treated with psilocybin, microdosed with magic mushroom stuff, um, who are going through an end of life situation, they have term a terminal illness, say that they feel at peace with dying after a few treatments of psilocybin because of how it makes them feel connected to the universe. They don't feel like they're they're dying as much as they're just changing the state of their being. And MDMA is being used for the treatment of uh, PTSD. And bad music. Uh, and bad, and really loud. Repetitive music. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, and uh, marijuana ca cannabis, um, which was legalized first for treatment um, in reducing seizures in. Um, in children and in, in kids who have epilepsy uh what do you call it uh it's not cbd it is the actual uh marijuana -y part of it but anyway uh yeah so it's all very very exciting i'm really really excited it has been my dream to do magic mushrooms for the past two years and i finally found a way to get them um and so i just have to find the time where i'm in the right mind space so my friend is on standby uh, he has the. <laughs> so no one tell anyone this. You're gonna get us arrested. This is a secret. Uh, you're gonna get thrown in Twitch jail. I don't know anyone about anything. Anyway, I'll I'll oh, I'll, I'll report back. Hurry, Candy says I can teach you how to grow them. I would like extra you, life goal. <laughs> can I, Katie, doing magic mushrooms? Can I tell you? Interestingly, it's legal to buy psilocybin spore. Spore. Spores. Yes, it's legal to buy the to buy the powder that that grows mushrooms, uh, but you can't get the. Mu it's it's a really weird, completely confusing way. Um, I'm just going to take a trip to a legal zone. That's exactly right, Keith. Legal. My <laughs> friend, my friend is in Colorado. Oregon. Oh, to a me. legal zone. A legal, yeah. A, oh, a, a legal. I was yeah. like, I'm going to a legal zone. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Put me in mushroom jail. Uh, no. Um, yeah, I'll go to Oregon and I'll take my mushrooms. Um, 
No, I have a whole plan. I'm very re I mean, yes, that is exactly what I'm doing, and that's a part of my plan. <laughs> <laughs> I totally knew that would happen. Uh, yeah, so I, uh, I be am interestingly growing mushrooms right now. Not those ones. I'm growing lion's mane. Uh, mushrooms, I cannot tell you how freaking cool mushrooms are, you guys. Mushrooms are incredible. The research done on mushrooms is so underrated. Um, and, and right now, at present, like all good things, uh, what? You're a college kid. Mushrooms, <laughs> you guys. It's the future. It is the future. You have no idea how much it is the future. You have no I'm about to go on a hard rant. Okay, so brace yourselves. Mushrooms are so freaking cool. They've been shown to repair damage and DNA. They've been shown to uh, impact your immune system, women, estrogen and women. There are all these really amazing things that they do. They repair neuro pathways in the brain, um, particularly lion's mane mushroom, which means for people who are suffering from mental illness or people who had strokes or, um, you know, just had uh, some sort of um, neurological issue, they can help repair the pathways. They can help uh, recreate or, or provide the, the, the um, what do you call it? The foundation to help rebuild um the connections the syn syn syntax no it's not syntax someone will tell me it's not syntax it's, so it has a z in it anyway uh obviously i'm taking these mushrooms <laughs> the lion's mane um they can be used in austin right now there is a a dump a tip a what do you call it um, landfill landfill yeah a landfill that they are growing mushrooms in that is expediting the um decomposition process by by using particular mushrooms in the ground they are just destroying this metal and tires and chemicals a lot of chemicals um in the in the ground they're just changing the chemical composition of them the, the not genetic yeah chemical composition of, of of these things into usable material um People are making boats out of mushrooms. Uh, they're really easy to grow. You can grow them in a really tiny space. They're really good for you. Uh, fungus, yeah. F fungi is weird and so cool. Uh, mycelium, holy shit, you guys. Mycelium, <laughs> mycelium is is the, um, is the, how do I, it's. It's the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> No, Jack, that's the mitochondria. Oh, sorry. Um, no, mycelium are like veins under the ground. They're fungi veins under the ground, and they connect everything to everything. They are so, so interesting. They connect to tree roots, and they provide nutrients to tree roots. But not only that, they create a communication system between like in forests they're the they're the neural neurological network of forests especially ancient forests where it's undisturbed it is so incredible a tree on the outside of the forest can get cut down and send a message to the other trees that they're about to get cut down it doesn't mean anything because they're going to get cut down but it works for like that was a bad example but it works for like pest infestation so if a pest is attacking a tree um that tree can let all the other trees around them know through this mycelium network that it's being attacked and those trees will put out their defense mechanism usually it's they make the leaves taste bitter or something um it's it's their way to communicate with each other it's how uh they exchange nutrients too sometimes if a tree is dead or dying the mycelium will move the nutrients from that tree into other trees so they're like recycling the energy it's so freaking cool um but anyway, so in my backyard, I'm growing, uh, or I'm trying to grow, uh, lion's mane, um, which is like a big white fluffy one. It, it's like, it, it looks like a, a shag dog, basically, like that, that hair kind of style. Um, and I think voice the mushroom, yeah, uh, in oak logs. And we drilled holes and put um, inoculated plugs in, which is basically those wood dowels you get from Ikea. Um, but they are soaked in um, mushroom sport. Like, basically, they just leave them in a bag and the mushroom takes over the, the wood 
and like and and gets into the wood and before it has a chance to break the wood down you buy it and then drill holes into logs and put it in there and seal it with wax so the problem was i didn't realize this my research i put uh my neighbor was cutting some thick parts of his oak tree off and so i was like oh my god i'm gonna take those so i took them and of course they're full of water because the oak tree it was just cut and i didn't know this but you're supposed to use old logs because they're not full of water so now this poor these poor fungies have to uh deal with all the moisture in the logs which is a good thing but also means that they can't take it over because there's not enough space like you think of um an old log has a lot of cat like has a lot of space between the fibers because it's just vacant it's you know so that fungi can get into it and take it over but because it's full of water can't do that so yeah our, uh, arcane ward says there's a mushroom that takes over the brain of insects turning them into zombies and control mind controlling yeah so it does that uh it makes itself become kind of psychedelic looking um and colorful so that birds will eat it and then they can infect the birds it's really gross um it's really, really gross. I'm gonna take a breather. Anyway, so you can email Katie Does Drugs at gmail.com <laughs> if you want to get a hold of her. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say how Kale became this really big fad, and everyone's like, "Oh my God, Kale this, Kale that," and now everyone eats Kale. Like it's just a thing, you know. Kale isn't a fad anymore. Mushrooms is currently a fad. They're expensive. Um, you know, they're in every drink like every fancy drink that you can get on the internet um chaga and reiki and all these different mushrooms um but in the next couple years they will be much more accessible and when they are i genuinely genuinely believe they are going to change human health i'm really excited anyway that's my that's my bit about fungi you can email her katie does drugs <laughs> at gmail.com no, no. somebody says i don't like kale <laughs> i'm not a huge fan of kale either yeah jack doesn't like it i like it it's like dirt to me maybe it's because i was growing it <laughs> maybe no. it's a problem with my growing i don't think that's it um the fungi led to a fun time there you go katie just wants to taste smell and see sounds <laughs> come back once Yes, I do. No, actually, the reason I would like to do it is because I don't think there's... Oh, actually, I have to be really careful about what I say. Uh, no, I just don't want anyone to... I don't want to trigger anyone. Um, I have a lot of questions about my place in the universe, and I think that mushrooms... That, that using... Uh, silence... Oh. Cicillabillin, that's it. Cicilla. I just said it like two minutes ago. The cyclocillin or something? No, that's a uh, any. I think that's an antibiotic. Um, Cicillabillin. No, oh God. Anyway, uh, the ingredient in magic mushrooms. Um, it. It. Uh, in, Cilla, uh, Cilla, psilocybin. 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 Woo. I forgot what I was saying now that I said that out loud. Why you want to try it. Oh, yeah. Because um, you don't know your place. Yeah, I don't feel like I really understand my place in the universe. And I think that um, it it can be used to help you identify... Um, you know, I don't really know. That's the truth of it. I just... I just... I think it would be interesting based on the stories that I've... I've heard and the research that's being done and what people report experiencing sounds like something I would very much vibe with and so that's pretty much it I'm not encouraging anybody to do it I've done two years of research on it now watching these different studies be done and um yeah I do I do believe though that in the next few years maybe the next 10 years it'll probably be legalized everywhere um and it will become a a, a drug that people can use treating mental illness I, I i feel pretty positive about that being the direction 
I, somebody before said, I like mushrooms. Oh, sorry. I love Katie, but I still think mushrooms are gross. <laughs> yeah, That's, Jack doesn't like them. I, I do not like the taste of mushrooms. Oh, uh, hello, Nutty. I was just talking about you, Ryan. Nutty's FC, about how we used to borrow your um, Super Nintendo. No, Nintendo 64 to play um, True Lies. Uh, right, Nutty's FC is my oldest, oldest friend. Literally my oldest friend in the whole entire world. I've known him since I was one. Um, we used to take baths together in Dead All. Which is an antiseptic. Who? <laughs> when we were little kitties. When my brother and sister were born, I had to stay at their house. And I remember one time I was staying uh, top to toe in Ryan, Ryan? Darren's bedroom, his older brother's room. We were all sleeping together in the one bed as a little kid. And we just kept kicking each other. And I guess we thought we were being really quiet, but we were being really loud. And Ryan's dad came in and he's like, will you just stop it? A baby is being born somewhere. Uh, Ryan asked me, sorry, the point of my story is, oh my God, my dog. Ryan says, yeah, and your dog bite chewed my controllers. Which dog? I had many. I used to steal them, not steal them, but I'd find them on the street and bring them home. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. I'll buy you a new one. I have oh, money right. now. Um, I sell candles. Are you ready to flip this thing? Yeah, so uh, Ryan asked me a question, but I'll wait. All right, we're going to flip this guy over. And we got legs on it now. Wow! It's off the ground. It's got wheels. The actual thing actually moves around. Aw, I like the detail wow. of the... I like the thing on. Wow, way to go, Jack. For a rookie move. Sorry. Wow. Really it's nice. pretty. Yeah. This thing's so big. Wow. Where are we gonna put it? Huh. So you can get an idea of how, how tall it is. Yeah. About eight inches tall or so. Oh, I forgot to cut your nails. That's okay. Look at that. Sturdy. And now we're gonna start working on the uh, the keys. That's the next step. Oh yeah, what time is it? Time to get a watch. 11.15. What do you think? Should we do one more bag? How big is it? I don't know. I guess the bigger the better, right? Because the small ones are the finicky ones. Let's take a look. All right. I, uh, I give Jack little manicures. That's why I was like, I forgot to cut your nails. Because uh, I cut his nails and gave him. I say manicures. I just cut and file your nails and, and force you to use hand loop. I know. My my hands are gross right now. It's all super cold. Hey, Phil, P. Walter. Also, hi, Katie. I'm already halfway through my lavender. I have to bust out my volcano soon. Oh, right, let me let me catch you up on stuff. Um. Oh, this is scrolled up because Ryan asked a question. So okay. You have to scroll down. Okay. Uh, let me catch up. Team Estrena, my daughter turned six in October and we got the new Lego Mario and she loves it. Oh, that's cool. That's a really neat set, actually. Uh, Michael actually got that for his kids and they love it. He's been building it for them, so he's been asking me some Lego stuff. Um, Chris the Dino, thank you for the bits. Billy Langan, thank you for the bits. Marcus Mellner, Jack, do you see the City of Denver repeal a 30-year ban on pit bulls? That's awesome. Jay Wolf, 2006, thank you for the bits. Marcus Wellner. Oregon decriminalized all drugs. That is true. They de decriminalized all drugs. Pretty cool. Cog Golem. Thank you very much for those bits. Uh, Tateboy25. Love all your work, Jack. Thanks for the great entertainment. Oh, thank you very much. Hall, Hall Sister. Or is it? Uh, Holly Sister, excuse me. Uh, came to watch. Came to the stream to watch Legos. Now I want to try shrooms. Weird. <laughs> Sorry. Phil, hey Jack, I was watching the most recent Weeping Angels TTT, the round where Gavin turns and sees you point blank with a shotgun is priceless. Yeah, that was a fun one. Uh, also, also, I'm out. okay, then uh, Phil wants more candles. Pack Monster, sing us a song, you're the piano man. Sing us a song tonight. Well, we're all in the mood for a melody. You got us feeling all right. Do -do 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 There's no keys yet. All right, let's do some keys. What, what, what is this? 11. We got all the pieces left. So let me dig out 11 real quick. One of those.
is just the one bag. Uh, Jack, you're getting the new Xbox. I have the new Xbox, actually. Uh, Microsoft was very nice and sent Achievement Hunter Xboxes. So, I don't think I, I, I don't know if I can show any, I mean, I'll be honest, there's really not a lot to it yet, because, like, none of the, uh, the new stuff's out yet, but it's really nice and it's very fast. I had to guess what would my place be in the world. Jack, what would you say? Yes, you. <laughs> Damn it. Um. Oh God. Uh, I don't know. I genuinely don't. I think that. Uh. I don't know. I like helping people, but I can't be a therapist because um, I watched Fleabag. Both seasons of Fleabag, and I'm still heartbroken over it. it. Broke you. And it's a show, so I can't imagine I would make a terrible therapist because someone would be like, "This person hurt my feelings," and I'll be like, "Shotgun noise." I just want to talk to them. <laughs> just let me talk to them. Um, I'm a real uh. Firecracker. What does that mean? Like, not in a fun way. <laughs> like, when I get really passionate about something, I really don't take no for an answer. Uh, and so I imagine if I was like a lawyer or something, I would take defeats really hard. Do you want to explain the Lizzie situation? What Lizzie situation? That I told you that we'll get a dog, but we'll wait. And you were like, cool. Oh. <laughs> Did you know that about me before? Like, is this a new information to you? Or did you just, did you know about this already? Yeah. That you accepted it? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even apply that to that. Jack said, uh, I said to Jack, Emma's dying. She's not technically, but she's definitely aging faster than, than her breed normally would. Um, she has arthritis and she's just slowed down a lot. Um, but she's only eight and they typically live to be about 12 or so and so I'm like well Emma's dying and I'm gonna die when Emma's di Emma dies because Emma's my best friend in the whole world she was my moving to America you know even though she was the worst puppy she sucked she was still my dog you know she was my dog that I you know she was home with me when I was home for a year because I couldn't work you know she's my dog so she's really special to me when I found out she was sick, like when I found out she had arthritis, I was like, uh, um, I can't process this. I can't deal with this. My dog's never going to die. But then I was worried about her legacy. <laughs> I was like, Evan's going to die and no other dog is going to know how great she was. And so I told Jack, I really want to get a dog. And he said, um, ha 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 lol and i said okay and then a couple weeks later was like no jack I, I think i really want to get a dog and then he was like um probably not probably not right now you know and i was like okay and then a few weeks later i was like jack i found this dog um and he was like listen why not sorry i was like i think i've been looking at puppies and he goes listen real talk why don't you just wait to the end of the semester just give yourself two months to get through the semester and we can look at puppies. How about that? Because you're like, having a hard semester. This is difficult. Because life is really hard right now. Emma's not going to die. And we don't need to throw extra stress on top of you. We don't need to throw extra stress on top of Katie or Jack. And I said, yeah, cool, 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 cool. And I genuinely believed that that, that was what was going to happen. I was like, okay, okay, he's right. He's so right. He's so right. But stupid me went and looked at puppies. And then I found one. And I called about, or emailed about her. And they said... Oh, she's actually with a potential family right now. Um, and, or sorry, she's meeting a potential family this weekend. And I was like, okay, bummer. But something told me to email back and be like, hey, how'd that actually go? And they were like, oh yeah, just call me and we'll talk about, uh, Addie was her name at the time. And I was like, uh, okay. And so I called her and she's like, yeah, no, that guy couldn't prove that he, his dogs were vaccinated. He like couldn't show us a vet that he went to. Um, so we like just told him he couldn't adopt her. 
But you can, but you have to come tomorrow. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit. Uh, anyway, now we have Lizzie. <laughs> so we went from literally me having to break Katie's heart to be like, we can look at dogs, but let's wait for the semester to be over. To two days later, later we had a dog in our house. Yep, and she sucked. Well, she didn't suck. She was transitioning. Um, we still have a few months before she was properly settled, but... Yeah, I guess I am a bit stubborn in that way. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's okay. I still love you. Thank you. I needed that. Uh, Detached and I says, Katie's story sounds real similar to how my girlfriend talked me into getting our dog about six months ago. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like it's not a not a unique story. I told Jack, you have to say no to me. And then I did. And then he did, and I didn't listen. It's <laughs> like, you just can't let me get away with this stuff. I'm like, okay. I told him, I said, you can't just say yes to me all the time. Like, you have to give me boundaries. <laughs> and then I just ignored them. I'm a bad wife. <laughs> I'm a really bad wife. Holy shit. So anyway, we have a dog now. We have another dog. And Squeak is terrified. I know. Well, he's not terrified, but he's, he's pretty skittish. Terrified. I guess he's right. I'll help. Oh, man. Someone said uh, that we're helping. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going scrolling through. Uh, Justin and so Jack and Katie, you guys have helped me decompress from a very mentally drained day. Just listening to you guys talk about Lego and Katie getting passionate about nature and science. Aww. Oh, thank you very much. Uh. <laughs> this is people summarizing my magic mushrooms. <laughs> so. uh. Oh no! Uh, Geek Cork says that their five-year-old Shih Tzu had a seizure last night. Oh, oh I'm, I'm really sorry. sorry. I had a uh, Shih Tzu Maltese who used to have seizures, so I wonder if it's in the breed. But yeah, it still, it's really scary. I'm sorry. And yeah, nothing's worse than when animals are in pain because like they can't talk to you. They can't be like, oh, it hurts here. And just like, oh, God, what can I do to help you? Emma, I took Emma to the vet uh, twice in one week, uh, this past week, actually, because she's just limping. Everywhere she goes, she limps. She can't jump on anything. She's just in pain all the time. So now she's on, like, expert pain medicine. <laughs> So she eats it at night with dinner and she's just out. She's like, cool, I'm gonna go sleep on the bed for the rest of the 12 hours. Um, so yeah. How did Katie break the news to Jack? Uh, so I did, I did try to give him an, I did like say, if you think this is a really bad idea, I need you to tell me, but in his defense, he was really between a rock and a hard place. Cause he's like, you are in love with this dog. And I was like, yes, I am. I'm not going to lie about that. And he goes, how can I tell you no? That's yeah. not fair. And I was like, I'm very sorry about this. Crawl Amy, brand new warden. Thank you very much. By the power of the beer, Ravana. Welcome, Crawl or Crawl Amy. I'm going to show you say your name. Uh, Arcane Wood says, Jack inspired me to get into politics and public service about seven years ago. His passion, love, and genuine care of other of others helped me find my path and next year i'm going into my international relation master so thank you jack oh, wow. you're awesome that's, that's so cool arcane, that is super cool man i love that i love that that's so amazing thank you for sharing that very cool the moral of the story is don't get a dog <laughs> rose tinted screen says in marriage you make compromises like when you don't want a puppy and your wife does you get a puppy <laughs> yeah sounds about right that's i don't know we know some couples where one of them doesn't want it and so they're like no yeah i'm just looking at chat uh nutties fc seven months in a row thank you dude hope to see you again someday when we're allowed to travel a zero love oh what's up sean 21 Aww. months, Jack makes me want to run for Senate. <laughs> Do it, dude. My two friends. I'll vote my, for you. My two friends. I miss you, Ryan. I don't know if you're still there, but I miss you. I also miss you, Sean, but technically we can come visit you. You're not $13,000 away. Yeah. But yeah, very excited because Ryan's getting married soon. And God help me, if I can't go to that wedding, I don't know what I'll do. I'll swim there. 
I'll get a canoe like Google Maps used to let you look at. You, you're like, how do I get from Austin to Australia? And you could click walking and it would show you how long you had to hike and then where to get in the canoe to, to paddle across the ocean. <laughs> it was so awesome. Yeah, we have, uh, we need to get dog stairs for Emma. Are we playing Christmas music? I don't know, is it? Is it? This is just classical, so. Oh! Uh, Crawl Lamy is Kristen. Hello, Kristen. <laughs> it's me, Kristen! Look at your caps lock is on and you still hit your capital I. <laughs> I like that you called it Crawl Amy. When what, is it Crawl? Oh, Crawl Amy. Crawl Amy. <laughs> I like Crawl Amy there's, better. There's no punctuation. Hi, Crawl Amy. Crawl Amy. I love that you're both here. I miss you. I hope we get to see you tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, yeah. Thursday. Uh, Sean, Mr. Wick says, I have a question for you, Jack and Katie. Million dollars, but every day for the rest of your life, you get to choose which account you want, oh, which accent you want to talk in. Would you take the money and why? Yes. I mean, yeah. Uh, yes. I would probably choose Australian most of the time, but I would not say no to Scottish. I would make Jack speak Scottish. I'd be like, every morning he wakes up and I'm like, no, no, Scottish. And he's like, but I want to be, I want to be South African today. And I'd be like, no, Scottish. Jack would be such a cool Scot. I'm making keys. I'm making piano keys. Piano, piano. This is cool. <laughs> Messa me uh, says, or sorry, Mess Mess says, uh, no, Jack. The moral of the story is you don't get a wife if you don't want pets. True. Katie was responsible for our last four pets. Here's Which her. is baffling to me. You came into this with two, and I was like, ugh, too many pets. And now we have so many have pets. Six freaking pets. <laughs> Old Lang Sign. I don't know all the words to that yet. Old Lang Sign. That's a rabbit. Oh, God. Uh, I went to say Robert the Bruce. That's Ro not it. Robert Pattinson. Definitely. It's the guy that I always get confused with the uh, American poet. Robert Frost? Yes. It's not Robert Frost, though. But that's who I get it confused with. Oh, shoot. What's his name? I love him. He writes in Scots. Well, that's going to annoy me. Anyway, I read a lot of his work. He has a, a poem about... Um, uh, it's called of mice and men or something. Um, Robert Louis Stevenson. No, Robert Louis Stevenson. He wrote um, the Curious Case of Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde uh, and um, Treasure Island. Kidnap. Uh, no, but he's also Scottish. Um, Stressed Dada, two months in a row. Thank you very much. Love the Lego streams. Thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoyed them. I guess we're playing Christmas music right now. Bedroom, boardroom theme. Boardroom theme is the name of the song. Uh, if you're, if I, Jack, if I was giving you one of my leg, uh, one of my parts list, one of my bills, what would you do with it? I mean, it, depending on the build, I would try to build it. I imagine. It's like a ballad. Is it? It's a. Is it Robert Blake? I don't think it's Robert Blake. Is it? Oh, I'm just gonna look it up. I was hoping someone would tell me. Scottish poet Robert. It might be Robert. Oh, Robert Burns. Robert Burns. David Burns. He he wrote Old Lang uh, Sign. From uh, Devo. I'm gonna find this. And you may ask yourself, different. That's, that's different. <laughs> I think that's different. That's David, uh, no, what's it? Attenborough. That's David Attenborough. No, that's... Yeah. No, I know. I know it's him. <laughs> Who am I thinking of? And you may find yourself living in a shotgun shack. As the days go by. Once in a lifetime. Water flowing. David Byrne? Same as it ever was. Same as, as it Same ever, as was. ever was. Oh, 
Tam O'Shanta. Tam O'Shanta is a great poem by David Byrne. Uh, okay, I was right. Robert Burns as well. The Red Red Rose is very sad. He was a bit of a womanizer, from what I hear. <laughs> I'm trying to find the poem. It's usually the poet society. Thoughts language. Te amu. Let me read it. With a Black Rain HD, thank you very much. Five months in a row, appreciate you. Anyone that ever will. Oh god, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna read a little bit of it. Is that okay? Sure. I'm gonna try to get the accent right, but I apologize to any Scots in here. You ready? Tea moose. We sleek it cowering timorous beastie. Oh, what a panic in thy breasty. Thou need nice start a worse the hasty, we bickering brattle. I would be lithe to rin and chase thee with murdering prattle. Uh, I'm truly sorry man's dominion has broken nature's social union and justifies that ill opinion which makes thee startle at me, thy poor earth earthborn companion and fellow mortal. Uh, I'm gonna read the last. But mousy thou art know thy lane, improving foresight may be vain. The best laid schemes of mice and men gang oft a gleary, or oft ugly, and lay us no but grief and pain for promised joy. Still thou art blessed compared with me, the present only toucheth thee. But ach, I backwards cast my eye on prospects drear, and forward though I cannot see, I guess and fear. Yeah. It's it's. I love this poem. I mean, you can read the translation of it too. But basically, it's um, this farmer destroyed this mouse's house, and um, he's like, oh, I'm so sorry that we we destroyed your house. Um, I want to be scared of you, or, or though I act scared of you. Sorry, though you act scared of me, I'm more scared of and for you, um, because. I broke the sanctity of nature and humans. Um, and also, my life is a lot harder than yours because all you have to worry about right now is rebuilding your house out of straw or hay or whatever. But I have to, I, I, am, I am cursed with foresight. I am, rather, I'm cursed with uh, n knowing that tomorrow I may die. Whereas a mouse isn't. The mouse lives in the present. So. Lucky mouse. And that's but that's exactly what he's saying. He's saying lucky mouse. So. Uh Moro Sexual Lovey, thank you very much, brand new warden. Colin Madden as well, brand new warden as well. Uh thank you very much, guys. By the power of the beer we're body. Love y'all. Great poem. Says Pheasant Chromatic. Like Christian says, Lego, Scottish poetry, magic mushrooms, and old school marching music. <laughs> <laughs> Weird day, but yes, this stream's awesome, JJO. Thank you very much. I can't promise we'll have Scottish poetry on every stream. But I'll work on it. <laughs> Queen, oh, I can't read it because it's blue on black. Uh, Queen Laffy Taffy. Queen Laffy Taffy says, as a Glaswegian hearing Katie's pronunciation is adorable. <laughs> I'm not great at it, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and Glaswegian sounds so different um, to the rest of Scotland too, so. My, uh, Ryan's mom, Nutty's FC's mom, is actually Glaswegian, so I was, um, my fascination with Scotland started pretty young. I consider her, like, my auntie. <laughs> my future, Pax says, my future bits depend on that Scottish poetry, Star Destroyers. <laughs> <laughs> Pax, Star Destroyers up next. After... <laughs> That's cool. I want to see that. Okay. Three, oh, uh... Tamo Santa. Mind that I'm sharing poetry. Oh, oh, here we go. Poetry. I'm just working on some keys. So long. I 
I would love to read like a whole poem, but they're so long. You guys would get so bored. But Gator Kane gifted 10 subs. Thank you, Gator Kane. It's a musical, uh, uh, musical line, musical ineptitude. There it is. Odious Wasp, Queen Witch 66, Das Bach, Penguin, Lover 428, Not the Tool Man, David is a Loser, <laughs> Seabake 87, uh, Bradley Bradford, and, and uh, Z Trip Z. Z Trip is actually an awesome DJ. I'm assuming this is the Trip. But hey, thank you very much, guys. By the power of the beer rebound, welcome to Warden. Sorry to cut you off. married that he met and she was going to the indies i think but he was in love with her um, and i think they had an affair but anyway Ooh. she she left to go be with her husband Scandalous. it says had we never loved so kindly had we never loved so blindly never met or never parted it had never been broken hearted no oh. <laughs> anyway, Robert Burns is a very, very good poet. And David Burns is an awesome musician. What did I say? I said Robert, right? Yeah. Okay, good. You're correct. Okay. As the days go by, won't you love me? Or if the wing underground. He was so young when he died. Same as it ever was. Same as the devil. Same as the devil. <laughs> Queen Laffy Topics has got some super cool Robert Burns Scottish history facts if anyone wants them. Yeah, I do. Please. You're speaking Katie's language. You are. Speaking my language. One equal temper. Uh, Santa. Oh, come back up. Santa 1562, one equal temper of heroic heart, made weak by time and fate, but strong in will, to strive to seek, to find, and not to kill. I don't know what that is, but it's pretty. Someone says, uh, oh, Pax says, I swear I've heard this song in high school football. I don't know what we're playing, frankly. Yeah, we can't really hear it on we the can, side. We really can't hear it. Um, Bumble Rabbit says, what is Katie studying in school? Excellent question. <laughs> yeah. Very good question. Jack, what is Katie studying in We're school? We're on 420. That's a great question. <laughs> We're on 420, you said? Yeah. Step number 420. Uh, yeah, Katie's bounced around a few different things. I'm not entirely positive what your... Your ultimate, your end goal is at this point. Jack, tell me what I'm studying. Uh, psychology... Mixed with a bunch of other stuff. Next with drugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish. Uh, but the school doesn't offer... Um, drugs? Well, that, but also they don't have any classes. I actually looked up microbiology at UT and they, it just doesn't exist. There was a professor that headed that department and he left. I mean, in microbiology classes exist, but you can't... It's not smart to get... Excuse me. There are other schools you could get a microbiology degree at that would be... Um, cool. Um, oh, it's Ulysses. That's Irish, right? Ulysses. Yeah, Ulysses, Tennyson. James Joyce? Yeah, I thought Ulysses was James Joyce too, and he's uh, Irish. By Lord Tennyson. Yeah, I, al I also thought Ulysses was James. I'm wrong. Katie is studying the human experience. <laughs> oh my gosh, isn't that the truth? Um, that's a good way to put it, actually. Uh, well, sort of, I, my, my goal was to go to university to study the soul, uh, but that's not really a thing you can just study at school. You can't be like, uh, hey, I want to take a degree in the soul, please. Um, so I'm, I kind of have to piece it together myself. Um, 
So I'm studying psychology, but I'm getting an additional degree um, in humanities where you can design your own major, and that's where I'm doing the classes. On, um, classes from other departments outside of psychology. Oh my. Excuse me. <sighs> on the human experience, basically. Religion, um, narrative, all those different things, and trying to piece it all together. Uh, the dackel, the dackel, uh, I'm so sorry if I say it, I can't see those colors on black, so I'm blind. Neuropsych seems like it really appealed to Katie. Um, I'm working on a PhD in human factor psych. Wow, that's very cool. Um, yes, so my, uh, study, the arcane was says, study the soul, isn't that philosophy? That is also philosophy, but that's, uh, that is... Interestingly, uh, that's theological, right? Oh, Star Roxas, thank you for that. Raymond literally just appeared on my island at my campsite. I'm hyperventilating. I love you guys, so here's a bit of love. Aw. <laughs> Playing you. some Animal Crossing. I think Raymond's too um, hipster. I don't know why. I'm just like, nah, I don't know. Uh, but I think that's awesome. I wish that I played more Animal Crossing. I really love that game. Uh, yes, so it that is... Philosophy, the study of the soul is philosophy, yes, but that's theological. Um, and all theory and concepts and whatever. I'm actually interested in studying a collective unconscious, which I believe is the soul, uh, which is where mushrooms come into it, uh, psilocybin. Psilocybin, you got I it. I nailed it um, uh, because of the way it connects, um, makes people feel connected to the world. That's really interesting. Uh, and micro, uh, sorry, not microbiology. What is it called? Um, physics. Mic not microphysics. Shoot, why can't I think of the name? What's the physics? That, that, it's like particles and... How am I spacing on this? Anyway. Um, it's also physics. Philosophy. Quantum physics, thank you. Quantum physics, thank you very much. Uh, it's, it, but I want to look at it from a quantum physics perspective, um, from a microbiology perspective. Um, yeah, so, which is going to require a lot of collaboration with a lot of different um, people, uh, which will keep me busy, probably, but yeah. So, yeah, I'm interested in that. Uh, I think that if we are all from stars, which we 120 trillion percent are, if we all came from stars, then we all formed from the same matter. And to me, it is physically impossible that we are not connected on a... On some level. Um... I just don't think that we have the measurement system yet to measure it. We don't have the scientific tools to record it. Um, so yeah, I'm very interested in near-death experiences, mushroom stuff, quantum physics, all that good stuff. I'm gonna play you a song. Please. <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> Nice. Well, we're... God, I thought I was close to done. We're about halfway done with the book. What? There's so much left. I was hoping to finish it one more shot. Maybe this weekend I'll, I'll do a long one and we'll finish it. I'm on... I'm on page... I'm on... Book 12... Or, uh, bag 12. Oh, alright. Anyway, look at that. That's pretty cool. You want to say hello, or you want to say hello on camera and say hi to everyone? Uh, sure. I was reading about uh, Robert Burns. Thank you, Queen Laffy Toffy. Laffy to That's a hard one for me to say. La, la, la. Here, turn and face this way. Oh, sorry. Uh, my hair's not good. No, no one cares. Oh. <laughs> I mean, no one's going to judge you based on your hair. No one judge Katie on her hair, everyone. Okay. <laughs> We're going back. Boom. There we go. I'll slide over. Katie in here. You're wearing a shirt. 
Just smash into whatever you want. I'm it's really okay. Sorry. What's wrong? Hold that side. Don't crush Ellie. Oh my gosh, everyone. That was fun. So we've we've made a lot of progress with this piano. I'm so small. Oh Jesus. Oh my piano fell apart. Look how big this thing is. It's a beast. It is a monster. So very cool. The keys fell out. I gotta I gotta fix my keys up. Nice and ivory. Go, yeah. We made a real ivory. No. Anyway, yeah, so we'll probably have one, maybe two more sessions with that to finish it. Uh, dim some cute shorts. Aw, thank you. I, I'm very proud of them. <laughs> uh, like, why do I look so small? Because <laughs> I'm a pie. I, ra I, I raised my chair up. Does that make you feel better? I am. I just like that I'm looking up. <laughs> I am small. Uh, thank you again, everyone, for coming out tonight. What did you do that for? I didn't mean to. Solu Tad, thank you very much. I saw the Tetris tattoos. Are you a Tetris wizard? Ever played Tetris 99? I wouldn't say I'm a wizard, but I'm okay at it. I played some Tetris 99. I got a few wins. I, I played when it first came out. So I had a lot of fun with that when it first came out. Uh, man, thank you again, everyone who tuned in tonight and watched and hung out with us. Thank you, Fredo, for that huge raid. We appreciate you. Um, yeah. So why don't we send you guys over to Larry? And you can say hello to him. It me, Larry. We love Larry. I need a break from CNN. Yeah, I uh, sold Tad. Yeah, I sold Tad. I get that. That was kind of a the idea for tonight was to uh, take a little break. So, and relax. Newsroom news? The song played at some point? <laughs> this is North and South. Yeah, I just did... Oh, we got... Classical, Star calm, inspirational, oh and something else. We have Star Spangled Banner. We yeah. played Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> not, uh, not yet. Wait, where are we up oh, to? There's three of them. Oh, oh we're right up. there. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know how to randomize it. I like that mood. Calm and inspirational. Oh. Anyway. Wow. Hmm. I don't know that this classifies as calm and inspirational. Oh. I realize there's license types on these that I, I don't, I don't want the Creative Commons. I just want normal YouTube ones. Oops. I filter it by. There we go. Attribution not required. Too late. I don't think I play anything with it, but that should be okay. Uh. Ow. Uh. Y'all would love David Burns' American Utopia. Twenty-eight days later. That sounds fun. Let me check that out. Can I tell you a funny story about? Funk Master NES. Brandy Prime Lord by the power of the be rebonded. What's up? Can I tell you a funny story about 28 Days Later? Sure. So, uh, my friends and I would go see movies occasionally in high school. And um, it was my turn to pick what movie we went to see. I think I may have already told you the story. And I just like looked at the board and was not paying any attention. I did no research because uh, we didn't have the internet back then. Like, it, movies weren't posted on the internet or anything. You just went in and picked one from a board that you'd heard about. Um, and for whatever reason, my brain just went, oh, 28 days later, it's it's probably like that. It's a romantic comedy, whatever. We got, we got in that movie and I was like, wow, this is starting off really intense. And it's like these people, I don't remember if it's 28 days or 28 weeks, but uh, we were in the movie theater and then these people barricaded in this like house and they're holding the door and everyone's really, really quiet. And then all of a sudden these zombies just like are running to them or whatever and just appear. Um, and I'm like, what is this movie that we're watching? And I spent a good half of that film going, when does the romance start? <laughs> like, what have I done? And my friends were looking at me like, what the actual F did you do? Like what? And they loved it. They thought it was a really fun movie, but they couldn't believe that I picked it. And so I walked out of that film traumatized while they were like, uh, whoa, that was so sick, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, anyway, that's, I'm not allowed to choose movies anymore. Uh, Spartan Man met Jack Hanna at work tonight. That's pretty cool. That's, he's awesome. Jack Hanna, he runs a, a zoo, right? He's being like talk shows and stuff. Mm. Anyway, uh, oh, you work in the food court in Terminal 3, says Lyra Rose. That's cool. Got lots, lots of people, you guys all working I like there. your name. 
Lyra Rose. Lyra Rose. All right, you guys. Well, thank you very, very much. Uh, I do appreciate y'all coming out. It really does mean the world to me. And uh, it's good being back. Um, I, I, um, the goal is to do Mondays and Wednesdays. I'm going to stream. And uh, yeah, at least for now. And maybe throw in an extra day every now and then when I'm, I'm feeling up for it. Uh, for the Lego set here, I, uh, I might I might throw a little uh, I might I might try to jump in a little extra time on that because I'm uh, I'm working on well I've got something coming up soon that I'm allowed I at some point I might be able to early stream it so I want to finish up the Lego set before I start on that. Um, Jack Hanna is director of the Columbia Zoo, but I guess he has family in Minnesota. Oh, okay. Uh, what? Someone on Lego Boy keeps asking me, Katie, what are your opinions on Lego guns? I don't like any guns. Yeah. I don't like Nerf guns. I don't like toy guns. I don't like cat guns. I don't like any kind of guns. Fun. So that's my, that's my answer. Real quick, I'll show you. Uh, the reason why I want to finish the Lego set is because, uh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, that is that is that something that I can play right now? Uh oh, uh oh, at least not on. I probably have an embargo right now that I can't. <laughs> I can't see, but Katie is latched on to my arm. Ow. Good lord, why? Yeah, you're real salty. Yeah. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> you getting kicked off Twitch for abuse. Is that a real thing? Anyway. Uh, so. What about finger guns? They're okay. Uh, anyway, so that's something I, I can stream a little early. I'm waiting. I've got to figure out my embargo for it. So once I'm allowed to figure out my embargo, then, uh, then I can let you know. Katie, what are your thoughts on the Red Rider BB gun? They'll shoot your eye out, right? That. It's a Christmas Story. Ralph. I've never Ralphie. seen it. What? I've never seen Christmas Story. Peter Billingsley, he went on the star in Iron Man. No, I've never seen it. Uh, we tried to we tried to watch it. Uh, oh yeah, you you do tell me that when we watch Elf. Elf. Um, we tried to watch it. Who's the Iron Man? Uh, he's the, the oh, bald the guy. Oh, the scientist. That's right. Yeah. You tell me. Tony Stark built this with a box of scraps. Rawr. Yeah, you told me. Yeah. Um, in a cave. The box of scraps. He's the guy getting yelled at. He's in. He's in uh, Far From Home. I, oh yeah, that's right. I yeah. remember now. You, you you did tell me that. Um, Peter Billingsley. Love that kid. No, we tried to watch it at Alex Leonard's house um, one year when we went for Christmas, mm. but uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't probably. Yeah. We we end up watching Elf because Elf is just the perfect so Christmas good. movie. So. Uh, all right. Thank you, everyone. I'm gonna call it a night. I'm exhausted. Uh, I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow, go hang out with a friend. Me too. I have friends as well. <laughs> I am also have friends. Uh, we're gonna kick you over to Larry. So if you're watching live right now, thank you very much for that. We're gonna send you over to Larry, so tell him I say hello. Can you tell him that, that can you call him, sh is it Shifty Larry? Shifty, yeah. Can you call him Shifty Larry and tell him Katie sent you, and also Jack, but say, hey, Shifty. Katie says hi. But like, say it in a happy manner, because that makes it sound like. <laughs> like I'm gonna show up at his house. Like, hey, shifty. He's like, no, that's that sounds more cruel. Like, it's just, I. I it's my part. favorite extra life thing ever that I gave him his nickname, Shifty Larry. So anyway, you tell him we say hello. Um, yeah, but uh, but yeah, and also if you go to YouTube.com/slash Jack Patillo, you can watch all my archives. I just posted the first part of this build. Uh, went up this uh, tonight just before I started streaming, so you can go back and catch up if you missed the first one. And I'll post this one probably tomorrow, or the day after. And uh, and yeah, you can watch all my previous Le uh, Lego stuff, all my Minecraft stuff. I played Stone Block One with my buddy Strict Toaster. We beat that. That was a lot of fun. I went and got all the achievements in Minecraft and vanilla Minecraft. That was pretty awesome. So anyway, uh, yeah. So go check that out. YouTube.com/slash Jack Patillo, and that's where I put all of my stuff. Um, but um, yeah, but if you if you did randomly stumble in here tonight, thank you very much. Hopefully you'll be cool and give me a follow. I would appreciate that. I just crossed a million views on uh, on on Twitch recently. That was bonkers. Uh, so thank you very much for that. Although like all you beautiful people and watching my stuff. Um, and uh, you know if you are following, maybe someday you will become a warden because the wardens are just the best people on the planet ever, and I love each and every one of them. Of course, Christian Casavar and Zard, my mods, love them very much. Yeah. Uh, they, they do so much hard work, and I love those guys. And so, mad we props to them. It's in love their way. And, uh, and I, yeah. I love that, that um, Zard and Casa sent us a card in the mail, and it was so suspicious that Canadian Customs opened it. <laughs> yeah, it was just true. a Hallmark card. 
a simple Hallmark card, but it came with a giant sticker that says, Customs checked this. Yeah. Like they were sending us some kind of... Canadian Customs cracked it open. Yeah. It was just so funny. I was like, whoa, this is what this must be like. I don't know. I opened it up. And it's just a thank you card. And we're like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so. Chill, Canada. Uh, anyway, can't trust them, them Canadians. That's true, Pac. Um, anyway, yeah. So I'll be back at some point to finish off this Lego set. We got to finish up the piano. I'm really happy with it. It's looking really cool. It is very cool. It's big. Um, and yeah. And then we'll start up some Assassin's Creed once I get the, uh, once I comb through the embargoes and make sure I'm allowed to stream it. So I think pretty soon though. Um, and then we'll start playing some Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Cause I'm excited for that game. I played a little bit of it already and man, it is violence. I'll tell you that much. It's, it's, it's Vikings that you can actually tone down the violence. You can like, you can take off blood and you can actually like take off dismemberments, which is a thing now. And there's a whole lot of very gory stuff. So anyway, so I won't be doing it. I mean, I can I can turn that stuff off. I can I can calm it down for you. Why? You know what? That's a conversation for another time. Okay. Anyway, that's gonna do it. If you're out there, please take care of yourself, especially right now. Uh, it's still a very stressful time. A lot of chaos is going on, and uh, brace for more of that over the upcoming week. So be very calm and, and you know pay attention to yourself. And if you need rest, do so. Relax. Maybe get off social media for a bit. Take a nap. Take naps are great. Katie loves her naps. I freaking love naps. Uh, and if you have the means to, take care of each other too. And let's make this planet a better place than what we started with. Uh, Extra Life is kicking off this Saturday. So support some Extra Life streams. We're going to be doing Extra Life all next week. If you want to support our stuff, our merchandise is coming up. Katie's got the uh, the blanket here. Look, you, fl you flipped it. <laughs> I, I didn't have a choice. There you go. We, we got our cool paintball wall blanket, which is pretty awesome. I'm happy with that thing. Are you a spooky extra life ghost? Spooky! <laughs> so check out Extra Life. Uh, I'm glad to be back here for the stream. Thank you, Sean, Mr. Wick. Appreciate you. So anyway, everyone, we love you guys. Uh, stay very safe out there. Be kind to each other. Let's make this planet a good one. We love you. Uh, go say hi to Larry for us. We're going to send you, if you're watching live, we're going to send you Larry. And, uh, and we'll see you next time. And remember, as always, by the power of the beard, we are bonded. See you next time, everyone. Bye. Bye. Say hi to Larry. Bye.